Oh, were, were we waiting for you to go get the uh, the, the Minute Maid cup there? You know, it, it is never a dull moment without you, brother. But the tall boy, how are you, man? How are you? Man, it's season two. It's a new year. We're back, baby. It's the lab, and it's tech time, man. I love this, bro. You have this, no idea. This is this is our time. That's true. This is our this is CES kind of virtual, whatever that means. We're gonna we're gonna dive into that and talk about that. But this is really the reason why we started doing this about oof, back in it, September, October. Well, no, so no, we we've been running the streets doing. CES consumer technology show covering uh, these types of events for over a decade, and it's it's so very crazy. strange this this year, uh, not physically being in Las Vegas with the sore feet, walking up and down Eureka Park, walking up and down uh, all the different casinos and things like that. So uh, you know it, it's tough, but you know things are happening. Things are still. Uh, matriculating and you know what nothing can hold us down and let me tell you something we got some winners behind the curtains right now I'm just, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it to you like that right that's right the lab has always come through with providing timely relevant news to the consumers and non-biased reviews non-biased product information tall boy talk to us a little bit about first of all your impressions of what CE has been thus far for you from a virtual perspective. Okay, so before we do that, this would have been my eighth year at CES. Ooh, you're an old man. I know, my eighth year. Last year, I broke my streak because I did not go last year because I was in Morocco and London on New Year's and there was no physical way I could have made it. So I literally broke my streak. So this year we find out that it's all virtual and we find out that it's all virtual. Uh, it's been interesting, shall we say. Uh, trying to find companies, trying to chat with them, trying to set up meetings, you name it. We've been trying to do it. Um, we found some great people, some great companies. Um, I've met some people and I've asked them to come on to this show. I don't want to really tell it all, but I think the solid state drives, I think the educational, the breast pump. I think I said that in my promo earlier. I'm not sure if all of these companies will be here um, today. Um, even J5 Create that's based out of Georgia, you know, one of my favorite companies. I don't know if that'll show on the thing, but um, hopefully they'll be here. Benji Lock. Um, and there's some new companies that are that I'm just now meeting because CES is so huge. So um, hey, you know, this is this is what we're here for. You know, we, we do tech for this and to see some of the new technology that people will be buying products for Christmas. That's why, you know, we do. That's true, man. And, you know, I think the team is is extensive and the team is, is valuable and we want to be we want to give shouts out to the team. So not just uh, the collaboration between Tall Boy Enterprises and Hicks New Media. So let, let me bring in Mr. Eric Burks, who I also have on, on the team, who has gone to CES with us a number of times. Yeah, right? who, who, I miss some days. Right, so who has been in the in the fray with us on the floor, and kind of like I was telling you about backstage, I didn't I didn't preempt you on this, but again, we're going to bring these organizations on, and and kind of your role today in this discussion is to be that consumer that's going to go to the Best Buys and the micro centers and the is Fry's Electronics still in business? I, I think so. <laughs> Those types of locations, right? Six months, a year, whatever the case may be, when these products actually start hitting the shelves, and kind of give that perspective to the everyday consumer because okay. we're at the virtual events right we, we've gone through press day all day all monday start at four o'clock in the morning uh so we, we've gone through those conversations but we would really like to have you kind of as that third person looking looking in and, and okay. saying how does this product really benefit this particular target market and things like that so without further ado Tall boy, talk to me, man. How would you like to proceed with this? Because again, we we've got some winners standing in the background, and 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 they are clamoring to get on stage and talk about their products. I am at your mercy, sir. All right, so I think ten minutes tops, because we have a, a lot of companies that are in here now and that will be coming in later. I have a ten minute timer on my phone. Yeah. Um. So when you hear the beep or you hear something go off, we you know we'll try and wrap it up as quickly as possible. But we're going to drive the conversation. Uh, Eric, myself, and James will ask you questions about your product. Why you? Who is it designed for? Uh, 
uh, it, what's the price point? Um, what else? Uh, where can they find it at? And how does uh, your product fit the average consumer need? Um, please mm -hmm. leave your email address. I think uh, you should have put it in the show notes in the private chat, but we'll constantly repeat this as new people come in. Put your website up so James can have it on the scroll, and uh, we go from there. Uh, outside of that, I don't think that this will be too hard, but, I mean, it's CES, and it's virtual. <laughs> I know people are tired of the virtual stuff, but, hey, let's learn this. Hey, day. but you come, you come here to be entertained as well. Let's right? make it fun. Let's We've make it fun. This forever, so let's continue to entertain and provide that relevant information. All right, so we're going to go with, if I'm correct, uh, the first person is going to be Evelyn Bailey Bailey from Domilus. Evan Delay, yeah, you're right. He has the smart lamp that saves. He just murdered your name. <laughs> he, he, just, he just murdered the name. But you know what, Evan? Come on, it's an American name. I'm French, but it's almost uh, an American name. You can say it's your own way. You didn't even let me to say bonjour. <laughs> you didn't let me say any of that, man. Go well, on, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm sorry, Evan. I don't know any other French, but I've been to Paris. I've been um, to the other airport that flies out to Malta. That's uh, like an hour away. What's Bouvet, it? really nice Bouvet. airport. Yeah, you have a chance. To, You'll like it. I've been to Bouvet. <laughs> yeah, so we can do this. But with that being said, 10 minutes is on the clock. Without okay. further ado, tell me all about Domus. Okay. So first of all, thank you very much for asking me. My name is Evan Belay, and I'm the business developer and country manager of Domalis in the US. And uh, so I'm going to tell you about a little bit about the story of Domalis. Domalis has been created uh, by two engineers who are my CEOs, and they had an idea of you know changing the life and making the life easier and better for caregivers and also elderly people into assisted living and nursing home. Uh, they are way too much like forgotten in this market assisted living and elderly we are always like thinking about new technology and new things who can like uh, uh improve our life as a young person but we've uh, a lot we forgot a lot about the elderly people so my two boss take the decision of um uh being into an assisted living for more than two weeks and live with them we live with uh nurses live with residents and understand the problem that they are facing every day and they face a lot of problem and nothing is like made really like ergonomic or like really made intelligently for them so they came with this id and this problem about the falls into assisted living uh two of out of three per, uh, uh, person over 65 years old fall into the private home or they are into an assisted living. And this can result to really, really um, heavy injuries, even death sometimes. So they have created a smart lamp, which is called Aladdin. And so we called it Aladdin because uh, unfortunately you don't have three wishes on it, but you have three magic features who can save an elderly's life. Uh, the first one is going to be automatic lightning. So it will help the elderly to go to the bathroom and move during the night without um, by securizing his movements. The second one is going to be automatic fall detection. So basically, it's going to send an immediate alarm to the caregivers if the elderly fall down during the nights. Um, like a slow fall can, can slide out of his bed, or he can just, you know, like for example, um, slide on his sleepers and fall down. Or like it happens, you have to realize that uh, being an elder is like a real thing. And they can, for example, like slide into urine or stuff like that. This happened really, especially for people in dementia and stuff and, and so on. So, and the third feature, which is uh, the, um, it's going to be more focused on the data analysis of the residents. So Aladdin is going to spot how many times per night the residents going to wake up to go to the bathroom or to sometimes just wander. And if the residents gets up, for example, just one time a night, it's going to be normal, a normal, a normal tracking. And if suddenly the residents wakes up like five times to go to the bathroom or others, it can you can like see that there is a new pathology settling. Uh, or for example, in not waking up anymore and he's staying at bed like really late, this can show you that there is something changing into his into his organism, into his body, and then you you need to react really fast. So the can the caregiver can will be able to uh, call the doctor if any change occurs. Uh, with those three f 
teachers, I want to say magic, but they're not magic. We just think a lot about it and we work a lot about that. So those three features is going to be, is going to um, reduce uh, to 75% the fall, thanks to intelligent lightning, first of all. Uh, so we have to know that when an elder is coming into a new house, most of them like spend, I don't know, 30 or 20 years with their husband or wife and lived into, a, into their own house that they built and raised the children inside. And suddenly they're changing completely the atmosphere. So the light's going to be not going to be on the right, but it's going to be on the left. And they have all those changes going to come like for approximately between two to two weeks to three months. And it can be like a really dangerous part of the life of the elderly. And this is how you can fall and injure yourself like really, really bad. And uh, so thanks to thanks to Aladdin, the, uh, the elderly will be able to move around and like be autonomous and keep this autonomy uh, into the into an assisted living. So live by himself. Uh, something really important about our company as well is like we co-designing everything. So as I told you, uh, my boss spent two weeks into an assisted living, living over there, and it's also a part into a recruitment to spend time with the elderly at least. Uh, uh, a day and a night to understand really the problem that they are facing. And we are really more concerned about that. Also, it's something elderly, it's something that everybody facing with their parents, with the family, with aunts, uncle, and so on. And we are all concerned about that. And when you see the results about other fall or how the way that they are, sometimes uh, assisted living can, you know, turn out, uh, be able to see how the how the residents is reacting is something that's really difficult for for them, and we we need they need this kind of device to help them. Um, I got a question. Well, actually, there's a question here. Um, uh, Mimi actually works in the assisted living for uh, in, mm -hmm. in, by, uh, in the in that industry. If I'm correct, don't don't quote me. But uh, her question was, how will this system transmit the information, and how? So it's really simple. Uh, it's everything is done on Wi-Fi. So the Aladdin is going to send a signal to a, all Aladdin is going to be connected to each other between each room. So it's going to relay Wi-Fi, and each time there is a, an incident, a fall, or others, it's going to send an immediate alert on the smart badge that I have just here, which is really small. Uh, a smart badge that, which is really small, and they receive like for example room two or four and the elderly fall, and we want. We, we provide this badge, which is, as I told you, like really, really small. You can put it in the front pocket. Uh, it's different than the, that the actual DECT that they are using for a simple reason. The DECT is treating information from the, from imagine the room two or four needs some water, when room three or five needs some food, and room five or five fall, and you cannot see it immediately. She's gonna have to do the round trip around the facility to see that. With this badge, she will be able to see immediately that some, something happened and something is wrong into the room. So she will be able to react really fast. So basically everything is working in Wi-Fi and if, it's, if you don't have Wi-Fi into your facility, we are able to create our own network over there. Um, how much does this product cost? So it's a rental basis. Uh, everything is included from the installation to the study to the after sales, everything. Uh, it's it's rented seventy dollars per unit. And is it available? Uh, it, it, is it available now? It's available now. I come and, right now to install it and, at your house. And, 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 and where and where can they purchase it at? Uh, you just give me a call. Or send me an email at evan at domalis dot com, and I will like make. I will come to your facility. I'll come. I'll do a study from from here and be able to install everything after that. And everything is for free. So the thing interesting with this, the the rental basis is like it's I don't know if it's right to say that in English, but it's like a key in hand. Like you have nothing to do. We are installing everything, and the product is a warranty life or lifetime warranty. So at, as soon as you are in the contract with us, for example, the elderly is breaking it, tearing it off the wall or whatever. Even if we have like special angle that it's not possible to tear it off the wall, it's IP65. So if somebody pee on it, a dementia people pee on it, it will resist. You can put it in the shower, but imagine you have a problem with it. Um, we will come personally and change the device immediately for you. All right, and uh, you got about 30 seconds. Why should somebody purchase this? And uh, why, why should why should a company or uh, a individual purchase the product? I mean, for a company, uh, 
you know that it's different in my country, but in America, lawsuits are like really common and they happen into assisted living. And there is uh, an actual real story about assisted living close by, by a fall and a lawsuit by that. Uh, with that, in in Europe, we are able. Uh, we have more than a thousand clients, and we are able to um, say. Imagine the family want to bring them to court. We are able to say that hey, the, the nurse reacted in less than thirty seconds and came to the room. And for a private person, it's really simple. Everybody want to take care about his elder and her parents. All right. So real quick, James, can you put their website on the ticker? Uh, I real quick? Yeah, I did. And you know what? I mean? that, that's some interesting stuff. And, and we've got a couple of other questions. You definitely uh, sparked some interest from a lot of the folks because uh, they're, they're in that demographic. <clears throat> right. And then I guess we'll reach back out to you because wanting to know, you know, is this monitoring happening 24 or seven around the clock? And it, how does, yeah, how folks wear that, you know, uh, when, when they're sleeping and things of that nature. So you've definitely sparked some good interest. So I, Thank I, you very I, much. What's your email? Just one last, what, what's last one thing, Evan at, gym, at Domalis com. Sorry. Just okay. one last thing. Uh, so something about monitoring. We are monitoring residents, but it's really important for us for privacy. And so Aladdin doesn't have any camera on it. Everything is done by artificial intelligence and social motion sensors. Gotcha. All right. So if you're interested, you don't want to see you don't want to see your mother on the ground and somebody see her, see her like that. That's true. Something yeah. like no. So, if so, you're so this, is for the, this is for folks that are in assisted living, correct? Yeah, it's for folks who are in okay. assisted living. But we are developing a home um, version with a, you can call like uh, caregivers. It's not caregivers, but your family, for example, you are the son and your mother is living like five miles away from you. She will receive the, you will receive the, the thing and her neighbors as well. And we are creating this, but we are still on the path. But it's absolutely um, available for assisted living right now. All right, so if anybody that's watching right now, Evan, E-V-A-N at Domalis, that's D-O-M-A-L-Y-S dot com. It's right there on the screen. Thank you so much for your time. Thank we'll you. Thank you very much, guys, for asking me. We will follow up with you before the end of Q1 so we can have you back on the show for a more in-depth conversation. Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much, and Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So, uh, what'd you think, Eric? I don't. I think I didn't get to ask any questions. <laughs> well, Eric, you got to jump in. You know, hey, you are secondary. The the audience is the no, primary, I get it. and you know I what's get, cool is that they're asking the questions, and that so that is one thing that I did see kind of prevalent this year. Yeah, a lot more personal safety types of um, pieces of equipment. A lot more. Masks, masks aren't going away, right? I, you know, I've, I've seen like like Razor come out with masks that have, I think, I think they got speakers in them or, or, or whatever. They got built-in ventilation. They've got headphones built. So those types of things are are with us for, for a while. And we're seeing companies build technologies around uh, personal safety, right. hygiene and things of that nature. So um, I like it. I like it. I think, it's, uh, you know, hey, becoming elderly myself, you know, <laughs> it might come in handy. <laughs> gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, so who's the next one? I think if I'm correct, it was Carter from Bywin. Um, here's a funny story. Uh, <laughs> I just received this email, so I jumped in on their room today. And when I was jumping in on their room today, um, I was asking questions about their solid state drives and what was so important about solid state drives over hard drives. And now that we're all working from home, or we have home-based businesses, you need a hard drive. And I think uh, I asked somebody would they, or could they come in and do our show today? And Carter volunteered and he saw my name. <laughs> and it was funny because Carter said that uh, he saw one of my videos on YouTube. And when he saw the video on YouTube, he actually was very descriptive in my content and to be in his room while they were talking about their product it was kind of full circle and it was very humbling to uh, hear uh, Carter say, I know your work. So thank you so much for joining. <laughs> that's what happens when you put quality out there, but that's what happens when you put quality. Yeah, work out. I appreciate that, man. So it's by when the solid state drive company yep. um, and Carter is going to tell you all about it. Let me get my 10 minute timer on deck. Uh, uh, Eric, you better get your questions in uh, because you know, I'm going to drive the conversation if you don't. Okay. And anybody that's watching the show, feel free to ask your questions while you're here because 
uh, Carter is here to assist, okay? And we All might right. have a surprise for you at the end, starting now. All right, so I'm going to be you know, quick and simple since we only got about 10 minutes here. Yeah, um, yeah so uh, we, uh, I'm going to go over two products or you know, two sets of products. One is with our partner. So by one here is a um, we've been working with memories since the year 1995. So it's been about, you know, ju just slightly over 25 years, you know, that, since we've been in the field. And um, but it wasn't until recently that we partner up with HP. I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody here should be familiar with the company HP. Uh, we partner up with them and, then, you know, we pushed out some products and the products in question. Let me share the screen real quick. So the product in question here, uh, can everybody see it? If you could uh, move it over. Right. Okay, so uh, this one right here, the one we're looking at right here is the P500. You know, it's it's a compact, um, you know, compact uh, solid state drive, uh, uh, portable drive. You can bring it anywhere you want. You know, you can fit it, it easily fit it inside your pocket, inside maybe your laptop bag, inside your backpack, anywhere, even in your purse, you know, in, potentially even in your wallet, depending on how big your wallet is. But yeah, you can bring it around anywhere you want. You know, it's it's at you know it, it's at the grass of your fingertip. Um, and uh, it has, um, so for the P500, it only has one capacity, which is one terabyte, uh, equivalent to a thousand gigabytes. And it has a uh, sequential, the maximum sequential uh, reading speed of 420 uh, mm -hmm. megabytes per hour, uh, per second, sorry. <laughs> and then a uh, maximum sequential write of 268 per se uh, megabyte per second. So, and uh, let me move on to the to the next one right here. So this one right here, that's the P700, which is you know like a lot different. It's more aesthetic. It's slightly bigger. You know, it's it's more like the traditional solid drive. It's <clears throat> blocky, you know, rectangular, but it has that minimalist type of look. And uh, so this one comes in three different capacities, which is 256 uh, uh, gigabytes, 512 megabyte, uh, gigabytes, and one terabyte. And so the, the main difference here is the performance and obviously, you know, the, the, the exterior, the performance. Um, so the, the difference in performance is that it has the maximum sequential read and write of both at 1,000 megabyte uh, per second. So, which is essentially one gigabyte per second. So, you know, like um, from, you know, from the number, it pretty much, it's kind of like tripled the, uh, the you know, it's um, P500. And uh, so you can purchase both of these products, uh, mainly for five, P500, you can purchase it on stables.com. You can go over to um, Amazon and you can visit New Eggs to you know to 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 make these purchases and oh also costco and i do if you are interested in the let me go back to the previous slide if you're interested in the p500 they are actually the cheapest on costco at ten dollars cheaper than um the other the other website which is at 59.99 compared to 69.99 and uh as for the p7 piece uh the p700 so for the 256 gigabytes capacity you're looking at 69.99 and then for the 512 gigabytes you're looking at 98.99 dollars and for the one terabyte capacity version of it you're looking at um 149.99 and that can be found on newegs.com all right so um you know, so since let me ask you, what's the yeah. difference? Because I think a lot of people don't really understand solid state drives. Um, yeah. I think they know hard drives, they know mm. flash drives, but what makes the solid state drive better than all these other devices? Um, so the the major difference, you know, um, when, before solid state drive was even a thing, right? We we relayed uh, for the longest time we were on the, the HDD, the hard drives. And oftentimes you were, you know, you, if you ever had, Got into conversation with your with your you know more tech savvy buddies. They mm -hmm. always t and talk about the the RPM of it, and so essentially you're you're comparing a a drive that's mm -hmm. that runs on the chip and the other one that runs on a literal disk that spins to you know <laughs> to read and write uh, your data, and then so that that's um, so the the major difference is 
solid state drive, it not only is it faster, is it is it capable of being faster, it also has a way longer lifespan compared to a hard drive. Because what happens with a hard drive is the, the more you spend, just you know, for example, your wheel, you know, you when you're spinning when when you're smoking your tires, it get hot. So when when it get hot, you know, over time, what happens is it burns the interior, you know, over time, it kind of melts it, it damages it. There's a wear on it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. eventually, you know, like you, you're looking, you, the more you use it, the, the more it's running, you know, the, the more tasks, you know, like the, uh, the test that the more tasks that you run onto it, you know, it, essentially you're looking at a less, a lesser lifespan, the more you use it. But whereas solid state drive doesn't really face that same problem because it, it simply does not reach that type of heat when you are using it, even in even when you're in a running processing a lot of a lot of stuffs on on your uh, on your laptop or on your, on your desktop. Um, with the hard drives, because I just had um, two external hard drives that go out. If your hard drive goes out, um, do you have any type of warranty for data recovery? um or is uh like what happens if your product goes out and i think as we were talking in your uh chat room today mm -hmm. there was other companies where their products major companies their products weren't as reliable as you know some of the other ones we understand normal wear and tear we understand drive yeah. but i mean is there any type of warranty with this product okay so uh with these products it comes with you know a a, a three-year warranty um, and uh, the three-year warranty, you know, like obviously it's, there's limitations to it. So, you know, we, we don't want to have people think, oh, it, it doesn't matter what happens to it. You know, we, we will, you know, we'll, we'll refund you or we will give you a, um, you know, we'll give you a replacement. Uh, but so there are limitations to it. For example, if, if the products, you know, like it happens with anything that's being mass produced, you know, there's always going to be that one or two out of the thousand that's going to be faulty. So if it arrives, you know, you, you, you purchased it on the first day, you plug into a computer and it, it doesn't read, it doesn't boot, it doesn't do anything. Then, you know, you, all you have to do, you know, even though it, it, it is a, it is a, a hassle, uh, obviously, you know, whenever you have to go through the, the steps just to, to get something that was supposed to be working in the first place, but um, you just have to, you know, contact our customer support and then, so with our products, you can find it on either on the quick start guide or you can find it on the user manual, um, which should be available on the website or you can just contact us you know, directly. Um, you know, you, you have my email today. You know, you can if you have any further, further questions, you can you can uh, contact me about about it. But um, so, yeah, so when in the case of a uh, of a, a faulty unit, you know, we 100 uh, percent will we either we will replace it or we will uh, credit the, the person, you know, so we will return, you know, uh, basically do a full, full refund on, on, a, on the product. So um, I, I guess my next question is why should somebody buy a solid state drive? Because like I said, remember a lot of people are at home, they mm. don't understand the difference between solid state drives. They don't understand the difference from hard drives. Why should somebody go with solid state drives? All right, so um, we are coming to a day and age where you know technology is literally at our fingertips. You know, compared to even just five years ago, it, it, we have you know we have progressed so so much. Just you know, every five years we're looking at tremendous like you know like Im improvement in terms of technology. And so what's going on right now is the average consumer now compared to the average consumer five years ago, we you know we we're looking at very different needs and you know like specs when it comes to anything any technology and any electronics so for example if you if you're still on hard drive which is still you know relevant hard drive are still very relevant but why you know like the question here is why go, why do we go for you know solo uh solid state drives rather than a hard drive is simply because it's uh once again you know, i want to go back on the 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 matter of the lifespan on on the on the products you, you got 30 are, seconds. You got 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Are we, we're looking at a product, you know, that that are um that's going to last you longer, that's gonna have a better performance. And the best part is you're really not looking at that much of a difference in terms of pricing compared to a hard drive, or the traditional hard drive. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, um, I didn't see any questions for solid state drives. 
Well, but we're going to find a way to do a giveaway at a maybe at a later time and date, or maybe we can bring uh, well, back. Well, one second, though, Corey, because it was actually a question in terms of some of those distribution channels, and, and Corey, you were talking about where it was available, and I just wanted to see, you know, some of these uh, big box brand names, right? So something like a Walmart or a Best Buy, or your product is going to be available there as well. Um, okay, so for for HP, you know, like um, obviously uh, down the line, we we're looking to you know to uh, pursue after uh, different retailers. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, brick and mortar stores, like, for example, um, Best Buy, Walmart, um, Target, you know, like, so, and, and, and so on. And, but for now, like, um, mm -hmm. especially given, you know, with the situation we're in that during the pandemic, it's a lot easier. I, I understand not everybody's comfortable with online shopping just yet, but it's a lot easier to access, you know, uh, all these resources online right now. So, um, for uh, my recommendation would be potentially even you know Costco was an was an option to it actually you know uh, like I said uh, for P five hundred you would get the best price at Costco at ten dollars cheaper um, it's they you know they do want to be a little bit competitive with the pricing so um, and then yeah and as for the P seven hundred unfortunately you will not be able to find it at Costco but you will definitely be able to uh, to find it on Newegg.com and you will you be able to see all three capacities yeah. All right, so if anybody's interested, what's your email address real quick so we can get uh, it on the screen? It's carter.wang at bywintech.com. All right, so if anybody's interested, uh, I see that there's people that's dropping in and out of the stream. So if anyone is interested that watches the replay, uh, feel free to shoot Carter uh, uh, email or feel free to go to their website, bywintech.com. And like I said, solid state drives is the new technology. Um, as Brian Wallace has said, solid state is everything. So uh, thank you so much. Hey, we got to give him that comment. Put that comment up there, James. Can you put it up there real quick? <laughs> let, let me stop laughing first because yeah, I put it up there. But yeah, that, that is true. That is yeah. true. It, it is everything. Carter, thank you so much. We will follow thank you. up with you again before the end of Q1 so we can do something more in depth with you on the lab. Uh, we do yeah, for this sure. show every Wednesday, so I'm pretty sure we can find time to get you in and you can talk more about this as well, yeah. right? And then, um, so because I don't think I, I will be able to stay until the end of this. So, um, like, you know, like we agreed upon, uh, there will be a giveaway that I, we're still trying to figure out how we how are you going to do it. Uh, for, but then, you know, we don't have much time here, but um, I will be in contact with Corey and uh, oh, we're looking boy. forward. I want those uh, my government. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Not the guy. I'm, extre <laughs> I'm extremely sorry. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, All right. Well, you know. we'll, 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 maybe we'll hold off until we bring you back on to where you have more time. How about okay. That? Yeah, for sure. All right, man. I look right. forward to talking with you real soon. Thank you so much for coming on and um, enjoy the rest of your CES, man. All right. You too. All See right. Ya. If you don't mind, can you drop out? Not trying to be rude. We have other people that are trying to join in the, in the room. So, is, are you trying to say that this is the happening place to be for a roundup of CES? Hey, man. <laughs> hey. I'm just trying to show love to everybody. You know, I'm, that's all I'm trying to do. Carter, thank you so much for uh, stopping in. We'll follow up before the end of Q1. All right. All hey, right. Really quick, uh, really quick James, though. Uh, I don't know about you, but as a, as a photographer and amateur videographer, um, solid state drives are everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get t-shirts made off, off of people. Of you know what? Hey, I think we, that could be our product: t-shirts and hats. Uh, solid state, dry, solid it's state, everything. Dry everything. That's it right there. <laughs> All right. So who's who's next? Who, who do we have? I think we had Corey that came in, and Corey is, if I'm correct, let me see. He has the air purifier. And it's called Clean Air Zone. And if I'm correct, he's based out of New York. Am I right? You got it. Yeah. I, I, all right. You know, I got my Falcons. I don't know about your Giants or your Jets. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey, Even though we had a horrible game. year, you know, it is what it is. But See, we degrade as we go further down the show. It gets more and more personal as, as it goes further down the show. Yeah, bear, 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 bear with James. He's on the West Coast. He has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> All right, man, you got 10 minutes on the clock to talk all about clean air zone. All you. right, I'll try not to bore you. So I work in the research and development department for clean air zone, and we design green air purification technology. So I work with a great crew. We've got a bunch of guys and gals, engineers, scientists, biologists, award-winning industrial designers and technicians, 
And so what we did is we essentially took a step back. Uh, obviously, the world's changed overnight. Uh, one of you guys alluded to it that, hey, masks aren't going away. We're now aware of air. We're, we are so aware of air quality. We wear filters on our face now. So that's not going away. So what is going to happen is we do, we are going to have a new normal and that new normal is going to include air purification. It's going to be at our homes, it's going to be at work, it's going to be in our bedrooms, it's going to be in public places. So we're seeing the market flooded with a ton of tech, mm. uh, some old stuff, some new stuff. And what we did though is we took a completely different approach. So our technology is fundamentally different than everything out there. So we're actually not bringing you something new. <laughs> we're actually bringing you something quite old. So we took a step back. We said, how has nature been cleaning the earth for billions of years while we're out there trying to invent a way to purify the air? And so mm -hmm. what we found is that it does a really good job there's two primary ways that we identified that it does an excellent job. And the first thing it does is it captures pollution. Now, how does the environment capture pollution? Falling water, rain, waterfalls. Falling water has several mechanisms that allow it to grab, capture pollution, hold it, and take it right out of the air. So that was step one. Step two is that it has biology, live active enzymes that go to work at digesting and breaking down the pollution is absolutely magnificent how powerful it is we don't even have to invent anything or do anything so all we did is we took these two mechanisms that happen in nature and we said how can we bring that inside how can we bring nature into our homes and start purifying the air and so we essentially uh, developed a machine a purifier that uses running water on the inside and we force the interaction with the air by cycling it through this falling water we pull out the contamination, it goes into the solution, and then after that, we have a live bio biology e enzyme that goes to work, just starts digesting it and breaking it down. So it's a capture and destroy technology. There's no filters to change. There's no UV bulbs that contain mercury that go into the landfill. You literally just add the solution every four months and once a year, dump out some of the, the uh, built up sludge in the bottom. It's that simple. Now, my question is, how much does it cost? Okay, cost is MSRP is going to be $1,495. That's a lot of money, man. You can't put a price on good air and clean health, though, really. There you go. <laughs> Hold on. There you, let, 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 let's pause right there, right? Because, again, there, there's the value, right? So, so yep. yeah, we talk about all these things, and you're, you're willing to spend. I'm going off on a tangent now. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're willing to spend a thousand dollars for a phone or for or whatever the case may be, but that point that you just made right there, man, right? How much are you willing to spend for clean air um, and, and a healthy living environment? Exactly. That's, that's an interesting point that you make there. So, all right. So, uh, can we see the product? How tall is it? Because that was one of my questions that I wanted to know. Sure. Uh, I think I see it right behind me. I mean, excuse me, right behind you. So, do you yep. mind? Yeah, want me to go grab it, bring it over? Yeah, yeah bring it oh, over. Wow. You, All right. You got, hey, look, you got six minutes. The show is yours, baby. Uh, live, live demo. I was waiting to turn around just like this. He's got the actual product. So, so right. it's so it's about the size of have the doorknob, the size yeah. of a, no disrespect, but about the size of a trash can. Not um, trash, too, but, that's but it's not trash though. It's clean not air. It, it produces clean air. So my question for you is, who is this designed for? Is it designed for consumers? Uh, is it designed for uh, corporations? Uh, you know, who yeah. is it designed for? All of the above. So when we designed this, we wanted it to be easy for the average consumer to use. Uh, we simplified the controller interface. We, actually, we made it super simple to maintain, uh, so you don't need tools even to change parts. If a fan goes down the road, that's easy to replace. If a pump goes, there's only two parts, uh, two components with moving parts, so very, very simple on the inside. Uh, we, we do have it built in, designed so that you can direct plumb it in or add the water manually, so. That's a good point, okay. Yeah, if it's going into an office and Let's face it, it's back in the days where everybody had a bottle of water, nobody wanted to change the bottle of water. So we try to take that issue off the table and just make it super simple, just plug it in and breathe the air. Now, um, 
this uh i think it's hit the spot 1006 says does it come in different colors <laughs> i i posed all this yesterday but, but you, you're noticing right so again you, you thought maybe that this was going to be a, a conversation that maybe didn't resonate but you're noticing that you're getting all of the engagement from the audience right now really contemplating something like this so again it's a price versus cost thing yeah you told us how much the dollar value is or the dollar amount is but you've got relevant questions coming in now looking at this technology of how many does it does it come in and match to the core of my house right tammy will probably want it in red to match with her kitchen plan I, I know uh but but talk to us about that uh guys this is a novel technology this is new to the market so to keep things simple it comes in one color uh, it's it's a beautiful design. It's kind of like Henry Ford. You can have any color you want as long as it's <laughs> the white and black model that we have here before <laughs> us. So we just had to keep it simple this year. And who knows? Maybe we'll bring up some other color schemes down the road. Now, in, in terms of square footage, what is the, is this the one size fits all, or are you able to? <laughs> I, I guess in, in the future, will there be smaller ones for a smaller uh, square footage? Yeah, absolutely. So the beautiful thing about this technology is it's it's 100% scalable. So right now, this 100 series model is what we're launching. It covers up to 1,200 square feet. So that covers a pretty good area. Uh, we do have some demand for smaller models that you can put on your desk at work. That's in the pipeline. Uh, currently, we do have some larger models that are more for industrial and commercial applications. Uh, they're a lot larger. They're not as pretty, but they get the job done. They're an absolute workhorse. Uh, in regards to spin point, I literally did the math and I said fourteen ninety five divided by twelve. That's one hundred and twenty four dollars and fifty eight cents a month. So I mean, I, when you start to think about one twenty four fifty eight, that is the side. That's what you pay for your cell phone bill. That's probably you know a couple of those uh, those programs, James, that you're trying to get rid of. That you said that <laughs> hey, we need to cut back on some of uh our hulu and our netflix and hey, all why, of that why are you putting my business all in the space <laughs> like that right? hey, no, hey, it's, not, hey, it's just... 2021 man i mean we're, we're letting some stuff go and we're bringing some new stuff in okay, and just, i think it's all about the you know, you know we're recording right and now you're just talking about all my little <laughs> what's, what's the new one that i just got the um discovery plus uh, yeah i got that well i'm deviating again but yeah i've got discovery plus now too yeah and, and let's now now let me ask you because this was brought up is this just a straight standalone system and you put water in it because i think you can connect it to your water line or something like that yeah so you, you have the option uh it can be plumbed in the installation is super simple if you've ever seen the way uh these plumbed in water filtration coolers are hooked up it's just a small little line it's run the same way the cable guy hooks up your cable easy installation and uh, very minimal. So it can be done that way. Or if you want to go ahead and do a manual fill, just like watering the plants every now and then, that type of activity, it's it's as simple as that. It does have onboard monitoring. So if the water level gets low, it's going to tell you. Nice. Uh, if there's an issue with a, a component, it's, it does diagnostics, it's going to alert you. And it even has a Wi-Fi built-in module that'll send us an alert and we'll reach out to the customer and let them know, hey, something's wrong. Nice so you, you, got you got 30 seconds. Tell us, um, it is great. You can use your water. Um, 30 seconds. Tell us why somebody should purchase. Look, we're, what we're filtering out with this machine, we're filtering super fine particles, 0 0.0001. We're taking care of viruses, bacteria, mold, things that you would normally need two or three or four different technologies. We're getting it all with one technology. It's environmentally friendly. It is cost effective if you do the math on it and you're getting good quality air and you're not going to get this quality of filtration out of any one unit out there i like it all right and where can they find it we will be going through some distribution channels we haven't released those distribution channels to the public yet but follow us online uh check us out on linkedin or get added onto the newsletter we'll keep you up to date on that and quarter, if anyone quarter, wants to email you or wants to reach out to you personally if they watch the replay what what do they need to do uh, email me direct at Corey, C-O-R-E-Y, at C-A-Z dot U-S. And like I say, just go to our website, get yourself in the newsletter. We'll send you the updates. And lastly, was there any show specials or that's just the price? That's the price they gave me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right on time. I'm, I'm <laughs> the messenger. You know what? You are, we, we are, we're following in line with the messenger. That's, that, 
That's good, good stuff, man. We, I, I really that's, that's good, man. Thank you so much, Great. Corey, for your time, man. I hopefully you enjoyed the lab. Hopefully we can get you back on before the end of Q1 as well, okay? We'd love it. Thanks, guys. Bye now. Right, man. Thank you, man. All right. I think the next one that's up. Uh, so what do you think so far? I mean, anything that stands out before we bring in on our next guest? Anything that stands out? I think so far, everything that I've seen is probably some stuff that I would probably get, you know, like the solid state drive, like the, this, um, we got like four air filters going on in our house right now. We can get one that'll knock everything out. That'd be great. It's mm -hmm. almost like a humidifier throws water in the air and vacuums it out. That's, I like that. You know, that those are things that we normally would get in our, in our household. Mm -hmm. All right. What about you, James? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just, again, noticing the, the, the trend of the year, right? Again, it's, it's looking out for, Kind of mind, body, and soul, and mind, body, spirit, and, and also fitness as always. But you know, so folks are looking at making sure that you're healthy. Folks are making sure that uh, elders are healthy, so the fall detection, things like that. We've got some other things that are coming up in, in a minute about again that mental health. Uh, so, so I, I think that's kind of one thing that that's why I'm actually looking at what um, uh, Max is going to talk about. I, I'm, I'm selfish. I, I, that's how I'm looking at that, keeping the mind engaged. But that, that's really where it is. And, and I, I see these products being successful. I see these products, again, being in the Best Buys, being in the um, RC bullies of the world. I had to think of some other companies, you know, the, the Microsofts <laughs> and, and, and all of that, where consumers will actually be. I see more consumers purchasing these than an 8K television. Yeah. Right? I mean, really? like, wow. Yeah, 8, 8K TV, that's just too much. It, 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 yeah. That's a want versus a need. 3D TVs, yeah, they were great when we saw them four or five years ago, but did they really take off? They didn't take off. Will you go out there and get something to clean your air? Yes. Possibly. Yes. Will, will you go out there and get something so that your your grandmother, your mother, your, your father-in-law, whatever, who's over 70, 80 years old, living alone, when they fall down, someone knows about it and can help them? That's yep. right. Kind of yes, nice. you will. A little, a, little bit more, a little bit more effective this year than dancing robots. I'm just saying, right? Every year for the past 10 years that we've gone, we've seen dancing robots. Yeah, they're cool, they're fun, they're nice. But this is the stuff that really resonates, I think, with the consumer. So especially for this this day and age now with this the uh, with the COVID and the you know the stay home stuff. I mean, honestly, I I, I mean I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, you tell me what it wasn't a thought when it was out of your mind. You don't you don't think about uh, you know, you know. You saw a zombie apocalypse, but you know, you, 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 you go to CES and say, oh, what's the next gadget? You know, what's the newest things? You know, but um, I think these are relevant times and the stuff that they're that they're putting out there now are relevant to today. The things that are going on today. So, yeah, I think well, right. speaking of relevant, we're going to bring in our next guest. His name is Mr. Max Flynn from Wow Cube. Um, remember uh, Rubik's Cube? Well, I think digital. Uh, because he has a one-of-a-kind device in the shape of a cube made of eight connected cubicle modules that allow you to interact with the digital world like a real object. Oh, so wow. uh, think Pac-Man in a Rubik's Cube and you're trying to put it all together. I saw his uh, demo and I was like, wow, that's different. So, Max, you have 10 hey. minutes. The clock is now starting now. Oh. Max, actually, first of all, I, he just sold it. You, you need to get Tallboy on on the PR team, or because <laughs> that right there, he, he just brought you on stage like like Steve Harvey from you know Kings. <laughs> you you can't buy that. That you you got to get that on the payroll. <laughs> all right. So hey everyone, my name is Steven, CEO and co-founder of Cubus Incorporated. Um, what I have here is the device that looks like a Rubik's Cube 2 by 2 but uh, instead of being solid color, it covered with 24 high-resolution screens. The icons you can see here are different wow. games or applications. Uh, we have pretty many pre-installed in the Cube. We have the application you can download for using the I iOS or Android, uh, upload it to your Cube. Uh, let me show you several just to understand how it works some of them to understand the concept. So here is the, say, if I want to start the butterfly game, uh, I choose the butterfly game and tap it. Come on. Hey, <laughs> it's... Oh, you got a little light demo. <laughs> Sorry about that. So uh, this is the kind of logical game where you need to find the wings of the butterflies and uh, assemble them to one butterfly of course the first level is pretty easy because we just have one here once you do 
it goes alive, you see the score, and one more move, it goes to another level. We have different games. We have uh, logical games. We have, if I shake it, it goes back to the main menu. So we have sensors. Uh, it understands when you tilt it, then you twist it, or you shake it. So what is it for? Of course, mostly it's for gaming. And, uh, you know, in modern world, uh, kids like play games. They're staring in the flat screen on the devices, holding it close to their eyes and uh, staring in one point. The entire surface of the screen. So you're acting both in physical and virtual realities, interacting with the objects. And in the same time, it's designed to hold it far from your eyes on your arm's distance because uh, you need to always think in three dimensions. Uh, like we have... But let me show you one of the most interesting arcade game uh, made by our our team. We create hardware. We also create the SDK, so you can download the uh, software development kit and create your own applications and games and upload to our uh, app store and uh, to allow users to play with it. So here we have the ladybug, ladybug going on the past, and you need to collect all this uh berries small berries and to you, you with your real hand you change the shape of the device shape of the screen and you build the past for the ladybug okay so but it's not only for gaming when you're not playing it then you're not playing your walk you uh you can put it on the charging dock station that we that have that you have in the box this kind of charging dock station oh the game is over and it turns to, uh, it's connected to your smartphone using Bluetooth protocol. So you can basically use each of these screens uh, as you want. You can show the Instagram pictures of your family. It turns to a digital photo frame, whether in Los Angeles, time in Moscow. Uh, it can show the, uh, I don't know, any other information. We have this uh, application with widgets. Uh, you can launch this application, but let me launch it for you. Oh, I don't know. It just works. Okay, it doesn't matter. So uh, we have application with a night lamp. Then you put it on your nightstand if your child is afraid to sleep in dark, and it turns to a lava lamp. Oh, yeah, finally. <laughs> Here is the widget applications. Application. you can show any information it's it's going to be put like him on the main screen james but put, put, put him on the main screen this is the widget mode then it stands near your pc uh, while you're not playing it shows the information that you want again if you're uh, if your child is afraid to sleep in dark you can start the say lava lamp application and it turns to the Incredible. smart night, night lamp. You can change the uh, different modes. It even can play music. It's got eight speakers inside the queue. But what's most interesting, because this is a tech, tech channel, I'll show you some magic. Uh, here's the game where you need to roll the ball around the surface of the cube. But as I said, we create the operation system that supports integrity of those modules. So. They are absolutely independent. Wow. Okay. So if I have ball here, for example, I'm sorry, I don't see it. I see the ball here. I put any of other modules, connect them, and roll the ball to this one. And again, and roll the ball here. See? OK, now, now we have the aha moment. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. There. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So we, we made the um, hardware. We made the operation system. We made the SDK. People can download it and make up games and apps for the cube themselves. So my question is, uh, can they upload is, any game, or do you already have uh, games that are already um, – quite naturally, you already have some free games already installed or on your website that they can download, but – yeah, can they create their own game or how does that work? Okay, that's a great question. Uh, uh, because the entire surface of the cube is a screen, there is nothing like this. 
Uh, you cannot just port the game from the flat screen device. I if you do that, you will play it just on one side, right? So here we have the Matorix, like if you see the ball or if you see the Pac-Man or someone goes through the cube. So you, you need to use, we have about 15 games ready, about 20 uh, almost available in, in production. And we have the software emulator. Everyone can download it and make uh, download the software emulator, see the cube on his laptop and code the game for the cube and put to our wow. store. So, and would, as well, we yeah. With this being digital, how do you charge it? Because I see that there's lights. Like, how do you keep it charged and what's the charge time for? Here's the charging uh, dock station. Then you put the cube on it. It just goes in the middle, any, any, any side of the cube. You just put it on the charger. Just put it on like the charger, and it, what's the charge? What's the life, or how long does it take to charge? Uh, it, it takes about two hours to charge it to the full. The gameplay for the cube guaranteed about five hours. Uh, we have the calculator time about eight hours, so five is for sure. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Now, what? Now, now, everyone's gonna want to know, you know, how much does this cost? What, what's of the retail? We go into the market with everything uh, pre-installed, with the games in the cube, uh, with the charges of station. The full set will be two two forty nine uh, in the in this year, uh, with the games wherever. But with time approaching the more of the console model, then you play the device and you can buy the games or subscribe for the full store. We significantly uh, decrease the price for hardware. Uh, hmm. So will the games be separate? Uh, a, se a separate fee? You know, it's easy to understand if we compare with the console market model. When you have some pre-installed games, you can play them. If you want more, uh, if someone create another game, you can buy it on the App Store or subscribe for the whole set and unlimited game, unlimited the, uh, access to the store. Yeah. Um, where, where can uh, someone purchase this if they're interested? Uh, could you repeat, please? I said, where can someone purchase this product if they're interested? 3 You can, you can, you can uh, leave your uh, prayer order there. You, you can leave the email and we will notify you and it will be available to, to buy it. And if anybody's yeah. interested in getting in contact with you directly, uh, you have an email address real quick? Sure. Uh, max at wowcube.com. You can feel free to ask me any questions. Just M-A-X, right? M-A-X? M-A-X. That's simple, yes. yes All that's right. Simple. So anybody, yeah. if you, you got 30 seconds, Max, tell us why should someone purchase this product? <laughs> of course. Kids will play game, period. If you take the smartphone away from your kid, what should you give instead? to give them the same interesting as video games toy, but that literally makes them smarter because it's same developing your cognitive and motor skills as the classical puzzles or brain teasers. The best equilibrium of video games and puzzles in one magic toy. Like Sounds it. good. Yeah. I, uh, I will uh, see if we can get you back on before the end of Q1. Our show is every Wednesday uh, here at the lab. Uh, I think that uh, oh, someone said how much is shipping? Uh, two two fifty will include shipping. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so along those lines, I have some questions as well. So you know, looking at the site, and and you've got mention of a game card and screen protectors. I think that's that's an interesting thing to to put in place as well to, to make make known. So is that $50 game card option that you have, is that kind of a reduced charge for some of the games that are in your app store? Um, so I didn't get the, the, the game card. So, so you've got an option, the 249 for the Wild Cube system itself on the site, and then you've got 289 for the Wild card. No, 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 wait. We have, uh, we go into the market with 249 uh, period. That's like- Okay, so, so these options that you've seen on the website really, those are, Disregard those and just go with the actual two forty nine. It, it, it's it's it will be available way later. Now it's two fifty. Good to know, right? Because again, we didn't want to have any confusion in terms of when folks actually logged on. But so it will may be available to buy this kind of. You know, we have some uh, accessories. You see yeah. the the boxes, uh, the I mean the carry case, and even so there, there's even, the even, even this, you know people always ask me uh, it's for kids, not only for adults. Yeah. So we have many skill games, very difficult logical games, but mostly for kids, of course. And what if they broke it? What if they drop it? Mm -hmm. uh, although it has the tempered glass H7, it's quite difficult to broke it. 
But anyway, everything can be broken. So we made the special accessories, those uh, pads that you can stick on the corners like this, silicon pads, and it's make it even more durable. Great prevention. Oh, that's nice. And, they can cover the colors. Huh? And that comes with the 249 as well? Those, no, 249 those... without this. It's, it's exactly what I'm trying to say, that 249 with a full set beside these accessories. This, these accessories will be separate. All others, charging dock station, cube in the box with a, by the way, with a $30 uh, card included inside the $30 uh, gift card for the apps, for the future apps uh, from the store will be included in the box in this 249. <clears throat> Sounds good. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, cool. Yeah. Max, thank you so much, man. I appreciate okay. you. It's called Wow Cube. Tease Thanks, or, or, or make your or make your kids use their brain. You could use your brain, James. <laughs> um, hey, get them I, off I, the game this year and make them use uh, a Wow Cube. All, all right. I think it's genius. That's nice. Uh someone says they like the accessories. All right, nice. uh, Max. Thank you so much, yeah. man. I appreciate you. We're trying to get you on, and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to, you know, uh, link up at a later time, and maybe we can do a review. James might want to do a review on this thing right here. You never know. So, oh, okay. yeah, I'm, Let I'm, me know where to send it. I'm, I'm, I'm so you, see the, the, you see this bunch of boxes for the uh, media? <laughs> you you know my address already, sir. We'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get you back on real soon, okay? Okay, thanks a lot. All right, thank you, uh, Max. Take care. All right, what'd you I, guys think? I like that a think? lot. I, I like that. It's a, it's one of those games you just you you have to actually use your brain. It's like a puzzle game, just like the Rubik's Cube. I like it. All yeah. right. Well, we're gonna bring our next person on because uh, I know people are like, I love the tech, I love the tech, but you know, some people don't like looking at computer screens, and some people are <laughs> jumping on, some people are jumping off. So hopefully, people will. Uh, stay on board because we have our next person ethan from fledging and if i'm correct it's premium electronics for everyone it's uh a hubble i for ipad yeah, uh, yeah, don't see for it i so, know he did not say ipad see, there, oh, see, no, he see, did so, not say ipad so it's 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 already a hostile environment with him but don't worry <laughs> it, he gets one right now Oh gosh! Well, I can eject out of here if I need to. Just let me know. <laughs> no, see, exactly. Ethan. Here's the problem. I was I'm literally waiting for the they, That's team I, I, team iOS at the bottom. I'm team <laughs> Droid at the top. I mean, we literally fight over. We literally did a whole show iOS versus <laughs> Android, and he lost. <laughs> I, I, I can see it. I I, I can see it. <laughs> That's why he's personally sent you this invite. He had, he had to get an iPad. He had to get an iPad. Ethan, the floor is yours. You have 10 minutes. Well, James, I will do everything I can to make it right for iOS. So let me get in there. First of all, I appreciate you saying it right. Uh, fledging is what we are. A lot of people go with fledgling. We're actually trying to win the Google battle against Merriam-Webster right now. So that helps a little bit. So we are a... Uh, Consumer Electronics Startup here in Birmingham, Alabama, which is, of course, the most natural place in the world for consumer electronics. Before um, you talk about it, I just want to say one thing. Yeah. Uh, roll Tide. Roll okay. Tide. Hey, Roll <laughs> Tide. Hey, we agree on that. Man, yeah. this environment just got a lot better. I love it. There you go. Go ahead. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, yeah, what we built is Hubble for iPad. What we looked at was the iPad Pro, the USB-C series, from 2018 to 2020, and then we timed it really well with the new iPad Air. And what we realized is there's a lot of hubs in the world. You know, you can go online right now and search for USB-C hub, and there's gonna be pages and pages and pages of hubs, and they're all pretty good. You know, they work okay. Some of them, they'll wear out that USB-C port, some of them wear out your battery, some of them, the ports aren't great, but hey, they do an okay job. And then there's a bunch of cases in the world. Uh, there's cases, you know, hard shell cases, leather cases, plastic cases, all kinds of stuff. The thing that's always driven me nuts about cases is the iPad looks really cool. It feels good. It looks good, especially now, you know, you got the space gray. It looks awesome. And then people hide that inside a case. And that just drives us up a wall. So what we wanted to do was build an accessory that combines a hub and a case, and it really makes a super tablet out of your iPad. That's what we think we've done with Hubble. So you can see here, we got the iPad in there. This is the 2020 Air. And actually, the outside material looks and feels just like the iPad. There's really no difference other than we got the cutout, 
got the hole for the camera, got the magnetic cover, kind of everything you expect. And what we've done is really just integrated the whole thing. You can see it doesn't really add a lot. It's about an eighth of an inch to the total height. It's about an inch to the total length, which actually provides a good little handle for you. We, uh, we're actually shooting the video for Hubble for the Kickstarter campaign back in October, and we gave a Hubble to one of the guys on set, and he proceeded to use it in his pro for the entire shoot while he was working on it for Hubble, so that was pretty cool. But what we've tried to do ultimately is just give you everything you need in one spot. You don't want to go shop for a hub. You don't want to shop for a case. You know, a lot of people these days, they're using iPads in place of computers. They're using them as basically giant phones. They're carrying them everywhere. And we just see a lot of stuff that doesn't work, so we wanted to make something that does. A couple of quick features just to run down. Um, other than the aluminum case, it's got the full Apple Pencil support. Just magnetically attaches there. I'd show you my Apple Pencil, but my dog was chewing on it this morning, so I'm not going to show that off. Um, and then for the hub on the bottom, don't know if y'all can see that, but you got the... Uh, nice. 3.5 mil audio jack, got the 4K 60 hertz HDMI, got SD and micro SD for the photographers who want to edit in the field, got USB-A or USB 3.1, depending on what you go with, got USB-C, that's 30 watt charging, and then USB-C for data, and then my light's kind of blind in and out, but this for us is one of the coolest things. It's an on-off switch, and as small as that sounds, if you've ever used one of these hubs, they will wear your battery out. You look up, you've left it in, and suddenly your battery's dead after 12 hours. So we built that in there so that you can cut it off, um, turn it on and off just whenever you want to use it. So that's it in a nutshell. You you, you say that, right? And, 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 I mean, you've got a lot right there, right? And you, you bring up some, some, some the ports that are necessary. I literally just two days ago bought extension cables for my iPad to run this monitor and see running behind me. I didn't need that if I... But having that HDMI, being able to, again, when we're out, if we were, again, get to go out to a CES or an, an event, have our cameras and be able to, to move that content to our iPad or, or to, to do the processing on the spot as, as opposed to going back to our laptop, that's incredibly functional. That's incredibly valuable. And then, like you say, being able to turn the thing off so it doesn't drain the battery, mm -hmm. that, look, that, that's one of those commonsensical type of things that we would think about once we've had it for a couple of hours mm -hmm. and wish it was there but the fact that it's there you literally have to kind of thought of darn near everything mm -hmm. uh, we've got a question here in terms of the types of i, I would doubt you would have a different type of case type of, that, that you you bring to the market right but I, I, no no it's, it's, it's everything you see here with the case and the cover that is the entire experience for us right now that's very really nice uh -huh. For the Android folks in the world, I, I will put this question up there. Not, not, in, not to be mean, but I will, we will at least ask that. So, but moving forward, right from a, from a roadmap perspective, Ethan, do, do you have plans of integrating some some Android tablets as well into uh, your ecosystem? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we uh, we started with Apple products. Our first product, Feather SSD. It's a solid state drive upgrade for Apple but we're not bound to apple at all actually our second product shell thunder it's a thunderbolt 3 ssd enclosure um it's got nothing to do with apple okay. so you know we got into this space with hubs and we don't even really want to call it a hub i haven't come up with a catchy name yet um but we got into this space we want to try it out see how it goes with the ipad maybe expand it to some more ipad models and then jump on over into other ecosystems and see you know we see these same challenges the ipad has in a bunch of ecosystems wow Eric, would you 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 would probably use it because again, you're you're I'm, I'm thinking about you from a photography perspective, right? You're you're out there on a shoot, uh, you've got all these files, all, all these raw files, and, and being able to easily fire up Adobe or something. Yeah, I don't have to get extra tabs. Exactly, I, I I like it a lot because you don't I don't have to. Yeah, I mean I have an SD drive, of course, to keep a lot of my my images. But the things that I want to work on, I, I want to be able to just take that card out of the camera, pop it into the you know the pro. And then you know, kind of uh, edit it at uh, yeah, things that I want to go ahead and put out there right away. Yeah, I think it, I think it's amazing. I think that is just man, I love technology. It's, it's uh, this, this is our week for sure. Which <laughs> iPad models currently do you support? Is it just the Pro or is it also the Air? So it's the Pro 2018 through 2020 with USB, and then it's the brand new iPad Air 2020 with okay. USB C. 
Okay. And we support uh, both sizes for the Pro and, of course, the one size for the Air. Um, what's the retail price for this for the iPhone or iOS lovers? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot cheaper than an iPhone. Um, the smaller version, that's for the Pro 11 inch and the Air 10.9 inch is $100. And the larger version, the 12.9 inch is $110. That is nice. See? Um, so I, I guess I would ask this again. So uh, we're, we're just taking you over right now because these are Apple products. But <laughs> now, right now, are, are these going to be Tim Cook going to let you in the store? You know, we don't have those connections yet. But if y'all can introduce this to Tim Cook, um, he I'm, is an I'm Auburn guy. Names, right? I'm, I'm dropping names. <laughs> I, I, I gave the company eight years of my life, so uh, I, I know some names, but I, I don't have those type of connections. <laughs> he's, he's an Auburn guy too, so we'll see what he says when I call. But uh. Nice. Yeah. So right now on the site. Fledging. Yeah, it's live on fledging.net right now. We've been selling them this week. This is our uh, commercial launch through CES. We did a small Kickstarter in November just to get some attention, see what people thought uh, went reasonably well. But we are commercially live right now. Uh, we ship anywhere in the United States for free, international. Let's have a chat. I can't get into all that with every country. Um, and then we do have a big Amazon presence for our products, but we do not have this available on Amazon quite yet. Okay. So what does that mean? Right? Because again, if I go to Amazon and, and search for it, I'm, probably, I'm sure I'll see what, what, yeah, what does that mean? I don't want to yeah. Say. So we have our listing live. Um, we haven't set it up for prime yet just because of how that works. You got to maintain a whole offsite inventory and it's a whole thing. And then with USPS delays, we've backed away a little from the Amazon store. They're, they're chomping down on sellers hard for the USPS delays. Wow. Yep. But it's on fledging.net all day, every day. You can reach out to me personally if you want to chat more about it, too. I love talking about the thing, so I'm happy to chat. Oh, oh I'm pretty sure that, uh, the two at the bottom of this screen <laughs> will be out there uh, trying to figure out, hey, can you add this? Can you add that? You Man, know? I'd love to hear it. I would love to get that feedback. We're looking for a pro version one day. Hey, look, look, both of those guys are Team iOS. So, uh, <laughs> y yes, look, see, they're, they're all modest. Look, they're, they're licking their lips. I mean, I feel like they're... <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for my credit card right now, to be honest with you. I'm going to get myself off screen. Right now, man. <laughs> yeah. no, I appreciate your time. Uh, so, so let me ask you real quick. Why should somebody purchased this I, i'm asking everyone the same question what makes this so special why they should buy it could be a great christmas gift could be a great valentine's day gift could be a great birthday gift why should someone purchase or make this purchase yeah absolutely ipads are great love the technology it's beautiful it's got one port and it's super fragile i don't know if y'all seen the videos of someone just bending an ipad in half but it's real easy um so with hubble you can connect to whatever you want you can protect your iPad and you can do it all in style. That's all the reasons we could think of, but we feel like that's good enough. It is. Awesome. You guys got any questions? He's got 10 seconds before the buzzer goes off. <laughs> I think they covered all the bases. I think they, yeah, it's, there, there it is, the email. That's what I was looking for. Perfect. Well, there appreciate the time today, guys. We're all tied. I appreciate it. .net. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, reach out to Ethan personally. If you guys are watching the replay, um, thank you guys for everyone that's joined and commented. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, uh, fledging.net, it's a Kickstarter. Um, so, I mean, this is uh, entrepreneurship at its finest. So um, before I let you go, why did you guys make this? Like you as individually, you and your team. It's what we love to do. You know, we look at ecosystems that are good, but there's just something missing from it. And we go in and try that in, whether that's an SSD upgrade or a Thunderbolt 3 enclosure or Hubble here, you know, the iPad's cool. You add a Hubble to it and it takes it to a whole other level. And that, that's the product we try and make. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to extend the invite out to you. Um, we, we do this every Wednesday. Uh, Got to get you in before the end of Q1. So uh, James um, will definitely be calling Eric to say, hey, we got to get you back in to go more in depth outside of 10 minutes. So I extend the invite. It, it's Android love over here because uh, eventually <laughs> you're going to do something for Android, and I'm going to be personally humbled when you say, "Hey, I got an Android device." So I'm coming you. to you. I'm coming to you first, <laughs> and, and, and I look forward to seeing you uh, again later on this year. Okay. Hey, listen, I appreciate it. Thank y'all. All good. Okay. All right. So you, 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 iOS folks. Uh, you know, James had to sneak that one in. I didn't see that one coming. 
<laughs> Android sucks. Hey, oh man. Hey, oh my, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just. Uh, I am moderating. Go back to one of our previous shows. Go back to one of our previous shows. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, you you do what you want to do. You say what you want to say. I, I, I so, but so, but but in all seriousness, right? I, I bring it up because, and, and I want Ethan to talk. Again, we we've seen a lot of different cases we've seen a lot of different accessories for for mobile devices right for our phones and for our tablets before that just really looked like everything else out there on the market uh-huh. and the reason i want to come up because that really does fit a need there, there there is a real use case for the product that he put out there and, uh-huh. and i see value in that and look the price is is right right it's it's it's, yeah. a, it's an apple product it's not Priced at, at the at the Apple price, so I think right. more and more folks will probably get something like that to provide protection well, I, and functionality. Well, what I think that surprises me that it works for Apple, and if I'm correct, Apple uses proprietary uh, products only. So for that to even work with Apple, I mean that's pretty. Cool. Um, if, if I don't know too much about your your ecosystem, but you know, <laughs> but 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 for yeah. it to work, I mean that that's got to be a cool thing. You, you get yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I mean, you have to have an iOS. Uh, you can't just go on Amazon and buy a knockoff plug. You can't go off and buy the, the 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 charger or the earphone. Whereas we can go to you know uh, Kroger or Publix and buy a, a five ninety nine charger. Yeah. You have to go onto your actual website and or to the actual Apple site and actually purchase that product. So for him to have that price point at that price and it works for Apple. I wow. mean, I, I have to, you know, tip my hat to um, that technology. There. I'm going to use that statement in the audiogram for on Instagram. <laughs> he will never admit it and he'll never say it again. But I, I'm going to blast out all over. All, over <laughs> all right, man, we got to keep it moving. Um, our next person that we're going to bring on is Richard uh, from Cutie. Um, don't let the name fool you because uh, Richard. <laughs> Uh, He's has, not cute. He, <laughs> oh. he has a companion robot for seniors that keep them connected to the outside world. And we're talking about autonomously. So that's that new technology. Remember the George Jetsons? Remember Rosie? Uh, it's a mobile and voice controlled robot. And he's going to tell you all about it. Welcome, Richard. How are you doing? Tall boy. I'm great, man. It's good to see you, James and Eric. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it's an honor. Right. And, uh, and before we go on, there is actually a cutie in Pennsylvania right now that's called Rosie. <laughs> they, <laughs> they named it Rosie, you know. So uh, that's one yeah. from back in the day. We're dating ourselves now. We oh, are exactly. dating. I can't help it. I do it on a daily basis, James. Um, so listen, um, we, we uh, what we're all about is connecting um, seniors in the US and in France. So this was an invention from France, although I'm, I'm uh, ringing in from Boston MA right now. Um, the whole point of Cutie is to connect people to other people. And it kind of just so happens to be a robot that's there. And this robot's a companion device that, that lives with the senior, right? And offers a whole bunch of different services. And I wonder the best way to, to kind of uh, explain it as I talk is perhaps to show a video in the background. So I don't know if I can share a screen. I've put a couple of links in the chat. Is it possible to to get one of those up? I don't know. Yeah, I think the YouTube uh, link is in the yeah. Because yeah. uh, picture says a thousand words, but you know when it gets up, you know the whole, you know we we you know let's let's just stop for a second and and think and realize that there's just a whole lot of loneliness going on, and we've seen. The pandemic, of course, has kind of underlined this so much for all of us. And so everything that you're about to see with Cutie is specifically made for this purpose. It's to connect seniors to other people in the outside world. And Cutie just happens to be a fully autonomously mobile, voice controlled robotic device that lives in the person's living space. And think of it kind of like the way that a Roomba knows the living space where you live, Cutie knows. I know about, I know about the Roomba right now. Look, that that 
Now, now you're talking my language. Now, now. Well, and, and, and I bet, James, you've developed a great relationship with your roommate. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he has such a great relationship. It is modern you. and stunning because before it was... It Oh, yes, it's it's so great that he's named it after he he has two of them, and they're named after his kids. Oh, yes, you know I need I've got Isaiah cleaning downstairs. I've got Jordan cleaning upstairs. <laughs> yell at them constantly if they don't do their job effectively. So, uh, which video would you like me to like me to show first? The uh, senior facility. Rose yeah, the senior facility one. Thanks, James. So, um, so imagine. So, Cutie knows the the living space. So perhaps you know your mother lives in a different state here in the U.S. and she can say, "Cutie, come to the couch," and Cutie will come to the couch. Cutie, raise your head up and down, and then just using her voice says, "Cutie, ring Richard." And so I'm maybe over here in Boston, MA, and just with my laptop here, um, I can enjoy a live interactive ex interactive experience with my mother. Because you know I'm concerned, we're, we're more distant geographically than we were before. And after she has this live experience, Cutie goes back to its charging dock and waits waits for the next interaction. In addition, we offer live activities for the seniors. It is so modern and stunning, and stunning because, because before, before it was, it was impossible. impossible. But, but I, I say, say one, one thing: thing. The, the this must be the, the modern, modern way. way. So did the feather make you feel better? Maybe we should mute it. But as I have pain all over, we must do this all over. Ah. There you go. QD brings more opportunities for our residents, which is especially yeah, important in this period of COVID. And he brings a lot of entertainment for them. He also allows for more specific, tailored activities in the individual's rooms, and it helps create relationships between the resident, the caregiver in nursing homes, and the activity host who appears through QD. How was the call? Was it good? Oh, it was good. It was very clear, and there were no issues. And you could see it okay? Yes, I saw the teacher well. The picture was good. We could have been saying silly things. Who knows? With the robot? <laughs> yes, with the robot. It's that. So, um, C Cutie's now live in France. It's um, deployed in more than 20 facilities over there right now. And on a daily basis provides live activities that seniors can, can enjoy from the comfort of their living environment. So these are things like Tai Chi classes, uh, physical activities, quizzes, you name it. Are they human-sized robots? <laughs> they're, 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 they're reasonably reasonable size. They're kind of five foot something tall. The head articulates up and down. You know, it's designed to be a, a, a reasonable size presence so that it's not a tipping uh, risk, of course. It's nice and heavy down low. Um, and, and it... And again, designed specifically for this application. So, you know, referencing James's dancing robots comment uh, before, um, this is definitely not a dancing robot. You know, you're not going to see Cutie taking people's orders at a restaurant. You're and not going to see. Yeah, and that's specifically why I mentioned that, right? Because again, there, I know you and there's function in what you have there. So that there's yeah, I, I know very much. And, and and you know, we, you know, Cutie's not going to be showing people to their meeting rooms or. Uh, you know, doing a funny dance when people arrive at office buildings in Japan. You know, it's never going to be, never going to be doing that stuff. What it's going to be doing is exactly what it's designed for and what it does every day in France, which is is help people who are isolated. And Lord knows, 2020 was a really bad year for that for um, for a lot of people. And so we've started in the U.S. in the last couple of months. We have devices now in Pennsylvania and in Connecticut. And our our go to market is to not directly to consumer. Just to be clear. So we're, we're going to go through channels because this is, you know, much more of an institutional device. So whether it's through home health agencies, so people who, oh. you know, deliver care to home, um, right. this will be an option that they can offer, kind of like a bolt-on to their existing services because, you know, they're, they're human shops and we're not there to replace people. We're there to fill in the many, many, many lonely hours and that's kind of what we do. But so it's home health and it's uh, senior living. So we have devices now in senior living facilities and, and in um, individuals' homes as well. All right, so I have a question. Um, so with this device, 
uh, Kenny, right now it's gonna, you, it can't go up the stairs. No. Nah. Um, but um, say someone's in the kitchen cooking, how would that cutie um, uh, be a great use case for somebody cooking or if somebody <laughs> wants to exercise? How would that cutie be a great use case? Yeah, yeah. So, so in general, you know, the scene is the people who are going to be using QD, you know, they live most of their day within a, a certain footprint of their house, right? It's usually a specific living area. Maybe the kitchen's connected to it. And so QD is designed to know that sort of area. Again, I mean, I hate to use the Roomba analogy, but I have to, um, similar to the Roomba, you know, it knows a certain floor area of the house and it's kind of analogous, analogous to that. And listen, what I will say is that there's personal emergency response as well. So, if, for example, my mom is in the kitchen and she falls over, she says, cutie, I need help, and cutie responds and kicks off an emergency work workflow. And that could be to the health system, so the care group, or to an individual, to a family, or both, whatever's required, you know. So, um, again, there's, there's the ability of mobility such that if she calls for help and my computer rings, I can dial into cutie, I can drive cutie using my keyboard, so this is all functional today. And I can check it out and, and do a wellness check. Um, second question I have, a, um, I, I, and I saw this presentation earlier this week. Um, someone's cooking. Um, they can actually do live cooking classes or with a, an actual person. Do you, is that somebody that you program um, into the QD and say a professional chef, they actually log on? How does yeah. that work? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So. Um, you know, part of what we do, it's kind of like a two-sided market. So we've got the QD robot on one side. We also curate, um, uh, I guess, a stable of, of live human beings who offer content that's that's of huge value for, for our elders in our society. So we have, for example, we've got a Tai Chi practitioner here in Massachusetts who's going to offer a class, I think, tomorrow. Um, and she's been doing it for 20 years for seniors, wow. bringing warmth to seniors all over Massachusetts, but now she can do it for people in Pennsylvania and people in Connecticut as well. And it's live. It's one on one. You know, it's like we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, we got to ask, how much does this retail for? Yes. Yeah, so, so first thing I'll say is it's not going to be retail to the consumer. So this is not intended to be a consumer device. Broadly, it's around $6,000 per device. Um, and when it's when it, when it it's in the in home application, we'd be looking at um, a, a cost cost sharing model with the home health agencies themselves, where it might be say fifty to seventy five dollars a week, and it's full time, uh, all services wrapped in. And so, who is your target audience, or who is it that you're looking for to uh, to, to purchase this? We'd love to connect with home health home health agencies. And there are some big names all around the states, and senior living facilities, senior living operators in the U.S. Yeah, I, I can see that. That's exactly, Eric, I, I, was, I was pointing towards you actually thinking about that, right? So from, from an insurance perspective, right? You know, are, are there maybe, so Richard, would there be subsidies and things of that nature for folks? Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's, I mean, you don't have to travel with bio in the U.S. health system before someone asks the dreaded insurance word. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's yeah. one of the cultural differences between here and Europe, as you know. Um, so, so, yeah, obviously we want to be reimbursed, but, but frankly, the road to reimbursement is a long, and winding road, and so our, our, our initial go to market in the states will not be relying on on reimbursement necessarily. Um, real quickly, uh, before we let you go, um, say someone is a chef, or say someone is a instructor, how would they be able to uh, offer their services uh, to the cutie to for the people that yeah. are in? How would that? Yeah, work? yeah, tall boy, great question. So, so that's we, we, all the time we're after um, the people to provide the rich content, the rich live activities, and they can go to qt.io slash en and they can get in touch with us because that's the sort of thing we're looking for. Okay. So if, if right. you know anyone, right. you can talk so what, what, what's your email address? Um, because the people may be watching the replay, people may have know somebody that's affiliated with the home health care uh, facility or company. How can they reach you uh, directly? Yeah, indeed. So it's R Marshall. R M A R S H A L L at qt.io. So it's the same uh, uh, end of the email as the uh, as the website there. 
All right, J- James is cheating. He uh, or, or he's gotten lazy on me as we've gotten into this. He didn't type I, in. All your- I am definitely multitasking, right? Yeah, so, yeah. You know, yeah. I can tell. It, it, it's a lab, baby. This is what we do. So, uh, um, but thank you, uh, Mr. Marshall. I, I enjoyed your presentation um, earlier this week, and I'm glad we were able to get you in to, you know, um, to, man, I'm getting tongue tied. Uh, I'm glad you were able to come in and showcase uh, your your product. And it says, uh, what type of software does it uh, operate on? No, we, we built it. It's on a proprietary stack. So that so for reasons, reasons of privacy, you know, we're never going to sell our data to those big companies who shall not be named. Um, we, we This is completely built from bottom up, uh, separate from, you know, who and you know who. Right. And it, it'll recharge, right? I, I guess when it's not in use, it'll probably it'll go back home, similar to yeah. the it's like the Roomba. It's got its own docking station. There it goes. Fantastic. Yeah, it's right. it, seems like, it seems like you're getting a lot of questions at the tail end, so we got to get you back in on our show uh, every <laughs> Wednesday night. Uh, we got to get you in before the end of Q1. I mean, it's CES. We're trying to get everyone in as, yeah. as many people as we can, but we'll get you in on the show to where you can do a more in-depth review, and we can watch some more of the videos to go along with it as well. It'd be an honor. Thank you. Yeah, Great thank stuff. you so much. You enjoy. All right. So what'd you think, uh, Eric? You're quiet over there, man. You're on the show, man. You yeah, I don't want to interrupt, man. You know, um, I, I honestly I, I look at it like this it, it, from a health perspective. You know, um, I, I don't know if I told you guys, you know, um, we're calling in all the time because a lot of times you can just call, but if your doctor can see you and you say, Hey, here's some of my symptoms, here's some of, you know, whatever's going on. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's amazing, you know, and you know, it's, it's, it's got a built in video. So that they're, you're talking to the doctor one-on-one that, that presence $6,000 is, is, is a lot. But like you said, if, if there's a shared cost, I, I see a, a great value in it. I see a great value, especially for seniors, especially for seniors. So, uh, but I think a, a household should have it. I think a household should have well, it. I think- if someone has that kind of money that just, you know, I mean, in, the average consumer, as uh, Richard said, does not have that kind of money to have a cutie rolling around in their house. But, sure. you know, some people that, you know, are pushing 100,000, 200,000 like James, you know, they, they they can have something like that. So, um, you good. know, and it's like, hey, you know, I know your dad would probably love to have a cutie rolling around and that could be a Christmas gift. So, uh, you know, we, we can make we can make that happen, man. Come on, James. Yeah. Well, look. we're talking about it's, a, it's an in-home type of care, like in-home care. So I'm not saying that you're going to own it, but it's going to be something that can, maybe can come out of your Social Security. I, I don't know, or or, or health insurance. Um, but like I said, it, it, wherever, however that costs, you know, helps that person or how it subsidizes. I think it's a it's a de- definitely a useful tool. I, I don't think we've seen anything that wasn't a useful tool today. So yeah, you know, I mean, they're all useful tools, and I think. To close out with this, I mean, remember we were all kids and the Jetsons, this is what kind of caught my attention with this product. The Jetsons had this years ago. ago. (laughs) And and for us to actually see a proof of life or a proof of concept in our lifetime Mm -hmm. that says this is where technology is going. So right Mm -hmm. now we may think it's expensive, but I think over a course of time, once they start to find some bigger distributors, they'll be able to lower that cost. And I think it would be uh, beneficial for a lot of uh, people that need this service. Remember, it used to be expensive to have a cell phone. You know, it was a big drop. Now it's not. So all right, man, Um, we got to bring in our next person. We got one, two, we got three people left and we're going to make this as fast as we can but uh we want to give them the same equal time and um the next person that we have is patrick james i think you're gonna like this one right here is that uh, right is, is this a is this a tall boy plant is that no <laughs> no 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 uh solar uh, we're, we're talking solar power here okay. and uh portable power to the people's solar meeting essential need so you have unfortunately you had a a bad situation with um um with with uh your your vacation home but when you yeah. rebuild mm-hmm. um unfortunately and it's and, and i'm humbly saying this the best way i know how and i don't know how the words are going to come out patrick you don't know this but due to the california fires james lost his vacation home his uh his home and as he goes back and he rebuilds 
you know, when I saw this, I said, you know what, this might be a great way to, as they rebuild, to incorporate tech. And with you having solar power and some of the things that it does, I felt like personally, I wanted to extend this invite out to you where you can actually, you know, have somebody that could possibly use this as they do their, be, be a part of their rebuild. So I, I, when I saw it, I thought of you, James. Um, I thought right, you were don't make me cry, right? I mean, because no, uh, I mean, yes, cause, cause now, now we're getting home, right? So, yeah, I don't know, yeah. home, vacation home, yeah, but uh, I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to the conversation. So, Patrick, you have 10 minutes. Tell us all about your product, tell us uh, what you know. Yeah, we've uh, we've come up with a bunch of portable power solutions that run on solar, so we're we're stopping the burn. And what I have behind me is a, a entire solar kitchen. Uh, I can cook, cool, clean, charge, purify, light, and brew coffee. Um, we we did all of these things so that people can break from the cycle of burning uh, and, and gathering ice and re resupply, refueling. Uh, everything is very affordable, durable, runs on sunshine, 12 volt and AC. So you can use them indoors, outdoors, uh, you know, day or night, rain or shine. And I can show you a little bit more detail about any of them. Uh, but basically you can cook a meal in 20 minutes without, without a single charcoal nugget. You can, um, we can wash up here. This is our, we, we built the flow here during the COVID pandemic for sanitation purposes. Wow. So you've got a liter of water. Now your your campsite or your backyard has everything and a kitchen sink. Um, sure. All is, all is running on solar, and, uh, and then you know the power is out. Whatever we've got a uh, a nice cooler. You can control the temperature. You can store ice cream, and then uh, a coffee brewing system all in one. Uh, so, go for it, James. So that's it right there. So yeah, that's, oh, that, that's the one I'm buying right there. So do, do you have one to recharge a Tesla? <laughs> A <laughs> uh, little, little big on that. We have, we have some pretty cool, like similar to Tesla. The, the battery tech is very dense and and uh, thousands of cycles. Um, and of course, on every car, truck, boat, or RV, we're doing a lot with that cigarette port. Uh, so we can, we can cook with that port. We run the cooler. We we brew coffee, um, pump water. You name it. Bringing back, we're bringing back the old twelve volt a little bit. <laughs> nice. You know yeah, who's gonna do that? You know who's going to use that? I am literally going to share this segment of the video with my son Scout Troop. Yeah, camping. Uh, that, that's that's it right there, right? Because uh, we're we're always at these remote locations, scouting and camping, and that is exactly what we need to to sustain when we're out there on those longer expeditions. This this is going to be incredibly useful, incredibly valuable. I I, I see this a lot. This is good. This is really useful. Yeah. Yeah. You can stay out. Uh, uh, we, you know, we charge your, your whole off grid life so you can stay out longer and off grid starts in the backyard, but it extends to the, the campsite and the boat and the beach. It sounds like you're in Southern Cal. So you got plenty of sunshine. You can rely on this technology and I've been relying on it here in Ohio. I haven't bought a bag of ice in years. Uh, I haven't bought a propane canister. I like cooking on a fire sometimes at night. So I'll still do that directly on fire. But other than that, I'll, I'll go to all solar and and then you know our technology also integrates electricity where where needed but since you're you're consuming so much less power when you're in these high efficiency appliances the the amount of energy that it takes to run them is is not this is like a 20 on back ice it's a little three pound lithium ion power bank yeah. uh, it's also as good for like a 20 pound bag of charcoal wow. so i can cook for 20 people or i can keep you know, drinks cold for days. And then you can recharge everything. You see the table is made out of a solar panel. So basically, you know, GoSun is all about uh, fueling people's independence and resilience through uh, appropriate solar technology. Hold on, so let, let, let's not skip over that, right? Because you just, I mean, you, you said that, and that, that's, so the table has got, so now I'm noticing that the table has solar panels itself. Right. All of those devices, do they plug into the table as well to, yeah. Or well, the, the table ultimately will charge the power bank, which sort of becomes the oh. hub, and then everything plugs into this. And of wow. course, all your other appliances okay. can plug into it. Wow. This, this has um. We have a series of different power banks. This one has a cool um, 
DC voltage that you can adjust uh, so you can shoot it just to the right of every, every appliance that we have generally with a battery built in will have, you know, DC run on DC. So you can change the voltage from down to five volts up to like 25 volts and, you know, fuel any appliance that you brought. That's, that's uh, yeah. I like that a lot, right? Again, that, that's incredibly good functionality. And again, I, I see use case, right, from, from campers, scouters, um, just folks that are caught in kind of situation that, that I, I've been caught in as well, just, just needing some alternative means of, of uh, getting power. Uh, Thank you. Um, do, you, do you see any use case for this for people that live in the city? Yeah, I mean, we're using them in the backyard or the balcony all the time. Um, you know, it's sort of a different way to barbecue. Uh, of course, in the city, you're, you know, you're just as prone to power outages or evacuation issues. So, you know, our technology is there for you to fuel your fun when you're having a picnic or at the park. It's also going to be there for you when you have to, you know, kind of get bugged out. Uh, we definitely build everything to be more outdoor oriented and outdoor and recreation and being out at the RV campsite, you know, is, is kind of where our main market is. Uh, but we're also doing a lot of work in developing countries uh, where people burn wood, you know, on a daily basis to cook, you know, 3 billion people are still cooking that way. And we're trying to, to break a cycle of poverty and bring in uh, fuel free cooking. Wow. as well as some of these other, you know, like water purification. This is a, a water purification system. This one, a CES Innovation Honoree Award. And inside this little solar powered case has a, a, a two watt USB powered pump. Uh, so it moves a little water. That water can go on through a three stage purification system. Mm. Uh, or you can take this, you know, out of the system to go backpacking with and whatnot. And, uh, and then of course, because of COVID, we wanted to also, you know, make it uh, do the sanitation thing. You know, Purell and hand sanitizer is great, but uh, there's nothing like soap. As James knows, when you're out camping, especially with a bunch of kids, it's like, come on, get those Amen, hands brother. Amen. So, so is there like a starter kit or is it like you, you buy every piece or is there like a kit that says, hey, you know what, this is for the, you know, like the, the, the I got a lot of friends that go out and, we, and they, you know, plug into like the uh, we're beach uh, beach life here, you know, and they get like their their campers and stuff, and, and they just like park it at the beach and they plug in there. But I mean, I can see them just using this. Um, yeah, so we try to organize our things based on the need. Like you see, it, uh, ovens, coolers, chargers, yeah. lighting, water, and um, you know, depending on what the need is. Uh, you know, you pick the solution. Uh, if you if you kind of went for everything that you see here, uh, that's going to run around two grand to have, you know, the ability to cook, cool, clean, charge, light, purify, uh, sanitize, uh, and then do the coffee brewing. This is the latest product we launched. We launched most of our products on Kickstarter. Um, and this, you plug into 12 volt, you pour about 20 or 16 ounces of water in here, wait 20 minutes, put your coffee grounds in. It has an integrated uh, French press. Once the wow. coffee brewed after four minutes or so, press that down and you've got a couple cups of hot joe. Nice. And, and James, I, I think that's another good point. Um, I, for all that two grand, I, I, you know, you, like I said, today's technology is amazing because you can still keep the price down. You know, I, I feel like that's 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 a good price. Look, you sold me. You see, I'm still drinking coffee now. Yeah. And whatever hour it is right now. So. You had me bought when when you said you have a, a portable truck coffee maker, um, <laughs> and that was actually inspired a little bit by the the fires that you know we saw fires hit Australia. We had this idea. We, we actually get a lot of ideas from going to CES and watching the lab and things like this. And um, you know, there's nobody that ever put together a way to brew coffee all in one. You know, without burning something or without having to run a generator, it's hard to heat water. And uh, and so we just kind of shrunk the size. We had this ultra efficient little cup and um, it takes a little bit more time than a than a Keurig but it uses one tenth of the electricity you yeah. know and that way you can do it and there's a fire ban at the campground what have you you're still enjoying a hot cup nice well I mean James I, I called myself thinking about you I know you're in the process of the rebuild so I know that this is something that uh, you will probably want to uh look into and clearly you're sold so that's all that matters and hopefully somebody <laughs> okay. watching um they, they'll they'll be 
interested as well. I live in the city, so I, like I said, I'm trying to find great use cases for it. But when you say going to the park and barbecuing, um, I think that would be awesome. So uh, unfortunately, my girlfriend called herself barbecuing in our apartment complex, oh. and she got and she got a fine. So maybe she should. <laughs> Maybe well, she yeah. could have just went to the park and she could have just used one of these uh, solar panel grills. So. She could probably do one of these in the complex because right. it doesn't show, throw off all that smoke. Right, and right, grime. right, right. Um, so where can people find you? Uh, GoSun.co. And we're on Amazon and Home Depot and, and all the like. So you can see the reviews. And we're, we're all about, uh, you know, just fueling your off-grid life and, um, and we've got a, we're just getting to the tip of the iceberg for all the innovations bringing bringing uh, renewable energy into your into your life. Most solar companies are focused on your rooftop. We're focused on your your backpack and garage, and you know, trying to get you set up so that you can really have these things to rely on. Okay. And and, and lastly, uh, if anyone wanted to reach out to you personally, what's your pers- uh, what's your email? Uh, Patrick at gosun.co. There it is. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Likewise. I'm pretty sure you'll be hearing from uh, James real soon. Uh, this, this is uh, he's got to get the summer ready. I, I might be taking if COVID, you know, kind of calms down because uh, right now California's on lockdown. But I, I need to see some of that Go Sun uh, product over there when I take that trip out to California. That will happen. That's right. And we'll feel those scouts as well, James. Appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you, man. That, was, that was really good. That was really good stuff. Thanks, Patrick. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. All right. Uh, we've been doing this for about an hour and 45 minutes. This is uh, one of the longest shows that we've ever done. I cannot believe. But this this is great tech. Uh, I mean, people have been coming in, coming out. I've been receiving text messages on certain products. We try to make sure that you have uh, their email addresses as well as their website to where you have a direct person. You can say you saw this show on the saw their product on the lab. Um, but Without further ado, because I know this guy has been in the room probably the longest, <laughs> and um, but but he he's been a trooper, and I really appreciate it. Um, this guy he comes from uh, the company name is called Trova, and it is uh, storage devices that allow you to hide things in plain sight. Whoa! So uh, so it's your private security system right there and without further ado let me introduce you to scott leopard that's right nice job i got it right yeah you got it right hey uh, look this is our first time meeting uh yes, steve, steve said um i had to bring you in he said hey man check out his link do you think we can get him on the show and i said you know what when i saw it i said hey i think i might need this for myself so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i like it how do you think the plane flight yeah, no so, worries about uh, the timing. So, I was able to go eat dinner with my my family in the meantime, so, so it's all good. So, so what I saw, if I'm correct, it's a portable storage safe where you can hide your money, your pills, your earrings, your your rings, your jewelry, whatever. You, I mean, it's a portable storage safe that yeah. you can carry with you. Is that correct? Yeah, it's actually a suite of storage devices. So we have uh, everything from a small pocket size that we call Trova Go, which is this size right here, um, all the way up through what we're really launching at this CES this year is our largest home size. Um, And the idea behind Trova is really on a platform of privacy and discretion. Um, So a little bit different than the traditional safe that you would leave in a closet um, or forget about. This is about daily use of the items that you want within reach, but uh, out of sight and securely locked away. So you mentioned a few of the use cases. One of the big ones as well is the is the recreational marijuana space. If you're a parent and you you have any of that in your house, it's probably legal in most of the states, almost the whole country, all but four states at this point. Uh, But it's certainly not something you want your kids to accidentally get their hands on. and so this gives you a nice, discreet place to put those things with, with uh, you know, giving you a lot of peace of mind. Firearms and things like that. Yeah, you could do firearms. You know, there's some there's some solutions out there for firearms. We're kind of everything but right. We we really focus on things like prescription, you know, medications. People oh, sure. they lock them up. Nobody ever does because you know the yeah. the current designs out there are kind of terrible. Um, and you uh, you would never put those you know on a kitchen counter in your house or a, or a uh, or a bathroom counter in your house. Uh, we also people also use it for personal protection items like mace. 
but the gun safe and you know gun space safe in particular, we Something we sort of steer clear of because we're not uh, fireproof. Gotcha. Um, does this product here, the, um, like you, sh can you show us the case again uh, yeah. or the safe again? Yeah. Does it have like a, a lock or oh, yeah. a, a, a pit? Like, is it fingerprint technology? Like, yeah, even uh, better actually. Um, so we intentionally, so I'll just show you the smallest one. So we intentionally designed this to not look like anything in particular. It looks like a hard drive or a battery pack, right? Um, and so <clears throat> the idea there, if we put a fingerprint reader on here, you would know that it held something inside of it. Uh, so what we did instead is a Bluetooth connection to an app. So it opens uh, through your app, it leverages the biometrics on your phone, and I'll just show you guys real quick. Um, so here's what our app looks like. A little bit of glare there, sorry, from my, my uh, studio light. Yeah, we can see it. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, you'll just hit the lock, verifies my face, and it opens up there. So wow, um, pretty yeah. pretty slick and and uh, and quick. Um, the Trova Home has two cam locks actually, so it's quite a bit more secure. The locks sort of tighten things up and uh, and make it a little bit closer to airtight. Um, yeah, so unique uh, unique concept, unique use case, and uh, innovative in the sense that typically when you look at storage safes, they're they're utilitarian. Uh, they're kind of dumb. I don't mean that in a mean way, but they're not <laughs> smart and, and enabled. Um, they're uh, you know meant to be stuffed in your closet and accessed like once a month. Interesting. Now, where can they find this product? Uh, clearly, I mean, we have your website right now uh, yeah. on the screen, but uh, where can we find this? Is it in uh, uh, retailer retail yeah. stores, or is it all, also or just only on your website? Um, so we've got a couple of retail partners. We are on Amazon with our Trova Go uh, product. We have all three of our form factors uh, that we've developed so far for sale on our website, which is TrovaOfficial.com. Um, and we've got a few retail partners. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Bespoke Post. That's a website and a membership service. Uh, so we've got some products there. Done a couple of events with Touch of Modern wow. um, as well. Okay. And, um, you know, slowly establishing a, a retail uh, brick and mortar presence, you know, long term, we'd like to be in retailers like Restoration Hardware and things like that. But that's down the road. We're a very new startup. It's still my wife and I, uh, you know, working this from home. We ship our orders from our house and uh, we've been in business just over a year. But, um, is, your, is your safe waterproof? <clears throat> No, it's not waterproof. Um, it's it's close. You know, it's it's highly water resistant. If you drop the Trova Go in uh, a puddle, you're going to be fine. If it's submerged and sinks, it's questionable if the if the PCBA, you know, the the chip that's on the inside is still going to work. Mostly because the charging port is is not waterproof. Um, you know, the the contents on the inside because of how tightly sealed it is are probably going to be okay. Um, but you'd probably have to break it open if the battery goes bad after it's been submerged in water. Uh, Trova Home, you know, it's going to be a little bit harder to, um, you know, accidentally end up in water. It is tightly sealed. So, again, the contents inside are going to be uh, secure and, and in good shape. Um, but it's going to sink if it's dropped into something big um, and would be hard to recover uh, if it's dropped into a lot of water. So, 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 a, so a use case for this, uh, and I'm speaking of the Trova Go, not the Trova Home. Yeah, is if you're at if you're out right now, we can't travel due to COVID. But if you're out and you have like your jury or you have some uh, have have like your ID or something like that, um, what would be that perfect use case for the Trova Go? Yeah, so we find that people use Trova Go for three things. Uh, prescription medications, especially sensitive ones, um, are, are high on the list. Again, it's your it's your daily use needs. Maybe you've got nosy coworkers, you don't want them to know that you're on X, Y, or Z. Maybe you've got chronic pain and you want to make sure that, that uh, you know, your grandkids or your kids don't accidentally stumble on your, your uh, you know, potentially life-threatening drugs and, and ingest them. Um, so it's a little bit about an extra peace of mind in that particular use case. Uh, the next one is, is jewelry. So people use it as a portable travel safe for, for jewelry and valuables. Um, you know, again, hotel room safes, for example, like everybody knows they're easy to break into. A lot of people don't really find them uh, all that secure. And so this gives you something you can put a couple, actually quite a bit of jewelry. My wife can put a lot of her jewelry in, in a Trova Go um, and, uh, you know, leave it somewhere unlikely mm. like in a in a drawer, in a bag. Mm. Looks like you played the video, which is cool. I was going to do that anyway. So. <laughs> um, 
And then, uh, and then also at the gym, you know, for example, my wife goes to a lot of, well, she used to pre COVID go to gyms that uh, are all social in nature, uh, and typically don't have locker rooms anymore. They just have cubbies. So she'd go into dance class or whatever. She'd take her rings off and, and, uh, just put them in her bag. Um, and that always, you know, kind of stressed me out, but, um, <laughs> now, now she puts them in her trova. She puts the trova in her bag. It's at the bottom of her bag. Nobody would think twice to, you know, to swipe it. Um, and the last one is again, around the recreational marijuana space. It's a perfect size for vapes and edibles and things like that. And again, on your, on your, uh, you know, daily use, maybe you're going out with the boys or whatever, and you want to bring, bring some toys with you. You want to make sure the wrong people don't get their hands on it. I right. think now, the, the names that you mentioned, right. I mean, the, uh, the bespoke, the respiration. So, so it's definitely geared also kind of at that luxury in market. Right? When you, yeah. you said touch a modern, right? Again, not 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 everyone necessarily knows touch a modern unless you're looking yeah. for something that that gift for someone who kind of has everything. Right? Yeah. You go to touch, I go to touch a modern to find that unique type of thing. So yeah, exactly. Specifically focus again towards that market as opposed to maybe I'm not going to find this in Walmart. No, no, I mean, maybe a takedown in the future, but no, we, you know, this is a CNC machined aluminum product. It's very precise. It's fairly simple to make, but it's, uh, it's not inexpensive. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, it is a premium product. We've won awards from a design perspective. Um, we work with an award winning design firm out of New York city called Are You Lidden? They've been tremendous partners. And so we, we wanted to bring elevated design. I, I can tell you guys the origin story as well. So, and that kind of leads us to where we are today. This is a, a premium product. Um, you know, we want it to be something that, that uh, people are proud to have, um, but at the same time provides them privacy and peace of mind. And that's what we hear from our customers all the time. That this is something that, you know, they, when they learned of it, they didn't know they ever needed, but once they started using, they use every day. Uh, yeah which is really, really cool place to be. But so the origin story is, uh, you know, we're in Colorado, we're a Colorado based family. And uh, we were one of the, you know, the first state to legalize recreational marijuana. And my wife was going through a really bad bout of insomnia. We've got two boys. And um, she was up every night for probably six to nine months from from two to 4am or, or one to 4am every single night. It was terrible. She's keeping me up too. So it's terrible for me as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And she tried all the pharmaceuticals. None of them worked or they made her feel terrible the next day. She didn't feel rested and all that kind of stuff. And the, the, the uh, end result or the end solution was some of the uh, high CBD, low THC sleep aids that are sold in all the dispensaries and all, you know, from a medical perspective. And it's, I mean, it literally solved her problem. Three days yeah. of taking that and insomnia has never been back once. Um, and she doesn't oh, wow. continue to take it now, and she, you know, unless it's recreation, unless she wants to. So here we are. We got two boys. They're six and seven years old. I don't know if you guys have kids, but they are in your shit all the time. Excuse all me. The time. All the time. No <laughs> privacy whatsoever. Um, they're nosy, you know, even when they don't mean to be. And, you know, we were worried that they were going to accidentally take one of those gummies and, and uh, you know, end up with, with uh, some negative side effects. So um, then we started socializing the concept to our friends and we realized that that you know fear of loss and that security need really meant something different to a lot of different people it didn't necessarily sure. just mean the marijuana space it meant you know prescription drugs like everything else we've talked about it also means by the way in home it also means um you know it's also about sort of adult intimacy objects in the bedroom right where do you put those and you don't want your in-laws to stumble on them <laughs> you don't want your kids i mean my kids are never gonna be the same when they figure yeah, out you got to explain <laughs> <in the> beginning, <laughs> right? yeah, exactly yeah it's not it's not life-threatening but it's certainly it's embarrassing <laughs> you know, the kid forever that's for sure uh my kids will never be the same when they figure out it wasn't a neck massager right <laughs> <You know? laughs> i like it um, i like it it's so, like yeah, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to kick kick into your time because you got about ten seconds left. But okay. um, what's the uh, man? The question I what is this retail for? Yeah, so we're premium. So Trova Go in my last three and a half seconds, one ninety nine on the website for Trova Go, mm -hmm. Trova Go Plus, which has sixty percent more interior capacity than Trova Go uh, for larger can watches and things like that. Can you put them side by side real quick? Yeah. So they've got really similar form factor. They just have a difference in overall depth. So Trova Go Plus is again, 60% bigger, but still meant to be in your hand and easily in a, in a bag um, and a pocket. And then Trova Home is 549. So that's our premium flagship product. And that will start shipping in Q2 of this year. Um, and actually we brought that down. Originally it was, uh, it was gonna be price targeted at, at 699. So a lot of CNC machine work and aluminum is not cheap. All right, so one forty nine is that correct? One ninety nine. One ninety nine. Okay. Two twenty nine. Okay. 
549, and then we'll fill in the gap between those two with some other form factors in 2022. Can I be selfish and ask for a review sample? <laughs> of course. As long as you use it. I, oh, trust me. I have a he, great He's going to use it. He's going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the dimensions of the, of the home. And look, I, I'm, when that's available, I'm going to buy one of those myself. I, yeah, I'm looking, looking at charcoal. It. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good. The it's same. It's the same. Eric, you, right. better, you, better, you better talk to somebody, Eric. Hey, we, we got Scott on the line right now. We, <laughs> yeah, we'll, I got we'll some further discussions with you, sir. Huh? We'll have some further discussions. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm going to send extend the same invite out to you, Scott, like yeah. I, I did with everybody else. Every Wednesday, we do this show, The Lab. James is going to be mad because it's like, man, we're going to go into Q2, but we, we got to get a break. So, uh, but we're, we're going to find a way to get every company on this show, um, um, to give them some more in depth time. I mean, yeah. quite naturally, 10 minutes is not enough time to give everyone, uh, they're just due, but these were products that we saw at CES. It was, um, it's been a challenge, but it's, it's the first annual or the first ever virtual show and just trying to give everyone an opportunity to, you know, showcase, you know, we're doing the best that we can with the resources that we got. Yeah. I love it. So I appreciate you guys bringing me on and happy to come back whenever you'll have me. I'll yes. Uh, so anybody that wants to find out the website, once again, trovaofficial.com trovaofficial.com and if someone wants to reach out to you personally what's that email scott at trovaofficial.com all right there it is um man thank you so much scott you, it's, this really means a lot I, I i really like this product it has it, <laughs> a smile on my face when i saw yeah. storage and it's like okay sd cards yeah um, it's modern day i was thinking of yeah like my all my my, my camera gear some you know yeah. sd cards and things like that yeah i definitely can use it yeah, a yeah. little more peace of mind, right? So, yeah. so I, I don't know I've taken too much time, so I'll let you guys go. But thank you very much. Appreciate again. it, Scott. Enjoy, enjoy the dinner with the family and uh, make sure the kids do not get to the gummies tonight. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> yeah. This house is secure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, man. See ya. All right. We got one last one. Last one of the night, and we saved the best for last. Why? Because we've been knowing this guy. This guy. For years. This I don't guy. even have my yeah, he's like this guy. I don't even this have guy. my uh my notes up for this guy. First of all, you don't have your hat on. Oh I had it on yesterday. You had it on yesterday. Well, before the show, before he's over, yeah. I had it on yesterday with Lisa Lisa. I had it on yesterday. I just don't have it on today. But this guy, um Benji Lock, uh the uh, fingerprint. Oh, oh, he he's stepping his game up. Oh, the fingerprint God. bike lock what? is the first of its kind featuring the same unique fingerprinting technology that established Benji lock as the gold standard for modern personal locks. It is weather resistant and IP 69 enclosure. He's he getting all fancy man. features a highly secure rating of up to 18,000 pounds of cut resistance stores up to 10 fingerprints unlocks with a fingerprint or a key and comes in a beautiful sleek matte black finish so we're talking bike locks so if you are bike riders but he also has regular locks um for your lockers or maybe for your book bags or something like that but i guess apparently today we're only talking about bike locks without further ado welcome my friend my personal partner it is a joy to see this guy. I have a picture somewhere. James, if you can take me off the screen and talk to him. I got a few things. I got <laughs> Look, we gonna move him off because he didn't come with the hat on, at least. Robbie, <laughs> welcome to the show, man. We have been fans of you, fans of your brand, fans of your products for a long, long time. Uh, I have to unfortunately admit that I went looking to, at the store for Benji Lock. For, for my uh, gym logger. Couldn't find it. Bought something else. Similar technology. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and after literally a week, I, I, I threw it away and said, you know what? I, I, I got to go back and get the right thing. So um, how you doing, man? I, hey, first and foremost, thank you so much for having me on. You know, it, it's a pleasure. I mean, during these times, it's tough. I know everyone is going through 
so many things at the same time and we're trying to navigate the, the whole ces 2021 digitally oh, wow. um you know uh you know the exhibitors they have us at 4 a.m at least for me because i'm pacific time i'm like yeah. 4 a.m i mean yeah that's crazy top right man four man but you know yeah. we're, we're winging it but you know uh at least I, I, my hope is that everyone is doing healthy you know because uh with the whole COVID and all that you know here in la uh they're saying now it's like out of uh I think it's out of eight people or about eight minutes or someone that is, is having COVID. And, and, you know, my niece just, I just heard recently that she got COVID. Um, oh. She's asymptomatic though. So that's letting me know that it, it's pretty serious. I mean, it's spreading pretty fast here in the, in California. So uh, I, I'm hoping that one, you know, in, in the show, everyone looking at the show and, and viewing that it's safe and healthy, but, um, but we keep it going, you know, we're at CES, we gotta be excited. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, Vegas from home, right? That's true, man. That, that, that's true. I, I, I'm glad you prefaced it with some, some of those things. But you've got a long line of, of, of innovative products. I'm not going to say interesting, but they're, they're definitely innovative. And I think you may have started the whole uh, fingerprint recognition, right, from a lot of perspective. And so someone like myself and Eric here, right, we, we spend a lot of time at the gym. He spends a little bit more. You, you see him filling out those, those, those medium shirts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but again, that's really the, the use case. Those and, and schools when kids get back to school. But you know, having I, I can't remember a combination. Look, don't 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 even ask me to remember four or five digits and left and right and all that. But having that biometric, that that fingerprint scan, no one else has that, right? So no one else is going to open. And the the quality of the product, right? So it, again, it's it's not that thin. <clears throat> Class, it's actually a, a thick. It's, it's actually a quality piece of equipment that you can definitely be assured that that your your gear is safe when you when you lock it up with the. Um, with the but look, let, let me not talk about it, man. Let, let, let me let me let's hear it from the horse's mouth and himself there. And I think uh, I think Tallboy's got. He's finally come to the show prepared and, and <laughs> fully dressed. There he is with the hat. Yeah, look, 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 I'm the unofficial brand ambassador of Benji Lock. Uh, there's a couple pictures on my Instagram when I'm out here interviewing and doing work. And, I, I, you know, you're just randomly just picking up hats and you just don't even think. And then it's like, oh, man, Robbie would. Yeah, he gave me this hat. <laughs> and uh, I was nice. Uh, Benji Lock, uh, where, uh, so for the ones that are, that are not familiar, um, he was on Shark Tank. And um, he actually won, and he partnered with Mr. Uh, wonderful Mr. Kevin O'Leary, and uh, he came to CES on a dream. And the funny thing about it was, I met him. I told him I was going to come back to his booth that day. I was dog. When I say like I was sick, and I was, I, I, and I gave my word because it was the last day. We showed up, and he did not know that I was sick, and. <laughs> We built that relationship for the last four years of just coming to CES. And it's like, it's always a pleasure to see this man. It's always a pleasure to see his new innovations. He even partnered with Hampton Products, who also wow. does home security. Um, I'm not going to do any more, but all I am going to ask, because someone asked, is this a car lock? Can you show them some of the technology that you started out with and then end with what you're uh doing now so kind of do like a brief you know show the people what how it started and then work up to where you are today if you yeah, don't no, know. I mean, it, you know it's it's a thing of beauty because it's like family you know that that's the beauty uh -huh. of ces that when you go to ces every year it's like you're seeing family again and you know tall boy uh saw me in 2017 when i started and it was basically a ces unveil it was just myself my wife and we're just in this little uh little table with a prototype that you see on the back end which actually doesn't work it was just a basic prototype and you know and kind of like you know the, the whole thing it's always been that you know locks are boring it's always been boring uh you know when you go to a hardware store and all that it just felt like i felt that benji lock was going to bring some excitement to it so you know when you go to the gym and you have your your nikes or your under armor so your adidas and, and and you got your beats or your apples i felt like benji lock fitted in that lifestyle you know lifestyle on the go um and that was my whole mentality so when i went to ces the first time i said to myself you know what there's a lot of tech here a lot of robotics a lot of virtual reality but i felt like simplicity is the key and i just took that lock you know 
uh, fingerprint and key. That was it, simple. And it actually, you know, resonated with a lot, with a lot of people because, you know, in this day and age, there's so many apps and so many things to, to you know, to remember. And at the end of the day, the idea started at the gym because someone left their locker, uh, their key inside the locker, and they had to bowl cut it and drill it. I'm looking at all this, and I'm like, wow. You know, at the time, I think I had an iPhone uh, 5 or 4, 5, and I think they started with the whole fingerprint. I'm like, wow, how come there's just not a lock that you can open with your fingerprint, but also with a key? Because I felt that you still had a key in case things fell. So long story short, to try to make it uh, fast paced, at that CES, actually, that Tallboy and I met, and I'll, and I'll send you some pictures. I still have them here. Uh, you know, a lot of people came walking at the show and they were like, hey, you know, is this brought on Shark Tank or have you seen this brought on Shark Tank? And I'm like, to tell you the truth, I've never heard of the show, you know, because I was born and raised in Dominican Republic my whole life. And I actually came here to L.A. to, to try to do music. But things didn't pan out, you know, and I had no idea that I, this idea was going to come in. But I think, you know, being laid off from work and all that, that's how kind of things things spark, you know. So that's why even right now with the whole pandemic going on. I feel that a lot of people are losing their jobs and all that, and it sucks. Believe me, because I was there. I got laid off in Christmas in the worst time of the year. Mm. Sometimes when you're going through through rough times, you know, that's where innovation starts, you know, and that's how kind of Benji Lock started. And, you know, we're there at CES, we're there in Vegas, and I ended up doing that little casting call for Shark Tank, forgot about it. And then when I came back to LA, I'm living my whole life again, you know, trying to do the best I can with this prototype. And then I got a call and said, hey, we're interested. Can you come in and pitch your product? And I said, you know, I really don't have nothing to lose. Right now, you know, I, I'm like $80,000 down building this prototype. You know, uh, it's been rough for the family and all that. So uh, I don't have nothing to lose. Let's go and do it. So when I went to that show, I was basically myself. I, I didn't really thought about the money, you know, because uh, one of the things that probably you guys can relate and everyone that is watching right now is that Sometimes you're working on your craft. Right now, you guys are working on your show. Right now, we're, you know, we're working on whatever it is. And there's always someone that doesn't believe in what you're doing. There's always people trying to put you down in whatever you're trying to do. Um, and I went through it. And, and still to this day, I use it as a fire, you know, because I don't know why, you know, you should be keeping it positive. But there's always someone, sometimes even in your personal uh, crew and all that, that don't want you to succeed. And at the end of the day, you have you have to use that as a fire. And that's what I did. I just still to this yeah. day, I still use it as a fire. I still work from home, how it all started. And then when I had a chance to go on the show, pitch it, uh, Kevin loved the idea. I partnered with him. So we ended up licensing the technology to Hampton Products International. Um, one of the things that Kevin taught me was that, you know, Robbie, as much as you want to try to do it on your own, uh, believe it or not, you're stepping with a new product in a whole marketplace that now you have to compete with all the big public companies yeah. that, that have, you know, unlimited resources. And for you to try to do it, yeah, we can give you the money and all that, but it's going to be very hard to disrupt. Right. And, and, you know, my thing was that I don't mind licensing as long as we can keep the branding. Because for me, it was like, I, I believe in Benji Lock. You know, that's how it all started. And with, with God's faith, uh, Kim Kelly, the CEO of Hampton Products, said, hey, we believe in Benji Lock. Let's do it. And so now it's Benji Lock by Hampton. And and because they build all the Brinks uh, lock security and all that. So they are been, you know, building security for over 30 years. Yeah. So that really helped me out because basically that original prototype ended up being now the regular Benji Lock with basically your um, fingerprint, but also a uh, traditional key. I don't know if this one is charged up, but... Um, there you go. So it's fingerprint, but also traditional key. Um, and, and I'll send a couple couple your way. And that's kind of how it all started. So then from there, because of the whole technology, now we have a TSA one that when you travel, you know, you got your TSA. They're the only ones that have the key. So oh, wow. Key, and then also you have a combination code. Um, so the beauty of this is actually we're the only one actually allowed in the airport to be a TSA lock. Fingerprint wow. TSA, TSA lock. So that really... Helped That's us out, but on a bump side, we unveiled the product at CES 2020, and then the pandemic hit us. Mm. So we were going all over to Hudson News, all over the airports, and then that really, that really hit oh. us hard. Yeah. Um, but then you know, uh, in the <clears throat> that that's what happens. You know, we knew that now all the gyms are closed, 
schools are closed. You know, my wife is a teacher. She's, she's still teaching from home. Lockers, they're not useful right now. Yeah, we're getting some ideas of people using the lock in their garage for their gym and things like that. But it's not the same when you're doing your daily life, you know, daily routine to, to fly in for business or you name it. So we notice that a lot of people right now, they want to do bike, they want to do exercise. So basically the Benji lock bike lock is basically the same technology. It's a fingerprint, but also traditional key. So you still have your key at the bottom. Wow. Uh, and the same technology, you know, because I think, you know, I, we, we didn't have a chance to showcase a lot uh, at last year. Same technology, we're also bringing it to the home. So it's basically a Benji lock door lock. Yeah. You also have your fingerprint, you have a code, and then you have a key. So then that same technology, now we've expanded from regular lock, travel lock, bike lock, door lock. Um, and I mean, that it's, it's, it's exciting. Uh, because now, you know, seeing that te that hybrid technology from the small lock, and now you're able to bring it into all these different products, uh, it's a dream come true. But I won't lie, uh, it's tough for startups, for companies like me, that you're sometimes a one-man army, to partner with someone else because it's kind of like you're letting your baby go in a way. Mm -hmm. But then also you have to think about, it's not bad about partnering. It's not bad about having... Uh, other team members and giving other people's opinion because believe it or not when you share your idea to the world regardless of what people think there's always someone that is going to say you know what i believe in that let's work together and let's do it and give yeah. him a chance you know because if i would have tried to do it on my own I, I don't know if i get to this point um you know manufacturing customer service distribution um now with the tariff situation that all the companies are facing um Starting now on January 1st, I think it's 25% of all the consumer electronic products coming from China and all that. And right. uh, I mean, it's going to be a tough year, but long story short, you know, innovation happens when, when things are rough. And I think that's the beauty of it. And now post COVID, we're introducing a door lock, a bike lock. Um, oh, and actually, ooh, before I forgot, actually, because we're promoting this tomorrow on the last day of the show, it's a sport lock, another small little guy. Lightweight on the go. This one doesn't have a key, but it's our, our lightest version. Um, and it's basically your fingerprint. And that's it. Nice. So that's basically where we're at right now. You know, I, I'm extremely happy, you know, because, you know, it's been a lot of hard work, especially on the manufacturing side. Because building, building hardware is tough. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is tough. But when you have the right team, um, anything can happen. That's so awesome. are all these products, uh, because you mentioned that the TSA lock was inside of the Hudson uh, store, mm -hmm. inside of the mall, but where can they purchase the product uh, retail somewhere else? So basically right now, you know, the whole product line is available at BenjiLock.com or BuyHampton.com. Um, but again, we also have uh, retail partners like Ace Hardware, uh, Walmart, um, uh, Beta. It's a very modern retail store. Um, I think I heard also Touch of Modern. We've been on Touch of Modern, um, and I mean, you. I mean, I think we're expanding the whole line little by little. Oh, Best Buy as well. Um, so little by little, we're expanding the line, um, but one one step at a time, you know, because um, uh, we're still in the face of actually even imploding the first lock, because you know we're getting out there. Yeah but it's not to the point that I personally envision yet. So you're gonna still see more of me there pushing and pushing. Um, and one little one little thing that I wanna say, you know, whoever's watching too, that, you know, a lot of people sometimes we have ideas and, and, and you know, I thought of that, but I never, you know, put my efforts into it. You know, whatever idea you have, whatever you wanna pursue in life, you know, write it down. And, and, and every day, just, just put a little bit of effort into it. And I'm, and I'm telling you, things will happen. You know, that's why I told Tallboy one time that, you know, if you have a dream of, of, of being your own man or doing your own big show, every day you put a little bit out there. It doesn't matter the content. You know why? Because that's how things with time, they flourish. Mm -hmm. I've noticed a lot of people, they say, hey, you want to do this? We want to do that. But then the next day, you know, whatever. And we're all going through the same thing. I'm telling you, I got three kids at home, got a wife. There's every, every day there's fighting and all this stuff going on. And sometimes I'm drained. Sometimes I want to quit and leave it. But you know what? You take a deep breath, relax, 
the next day is a new day. And if you feel up that you have that energy to keep doing your show, keep doing this, then you got it. You know, it, it, I'm a believer of passion. It, uh, you know, you got to keep it positive. Yeah. The, the, the one thing I, I appreciate you, Robbie, is, and this is no knock against any of the other uh, companies that was here. You told your personal story and incorporated it into the product. So it wasn't like, hey, this is my sale, this is my pitch, this is my story. And as you and the one thing about you and I, you know, I've always been about, hey, I'm my own brand. I create the content. Even when I'm discouraged at times, you we don't talk often, but when you you'll shoot me a DM and you're like, Hey man, I see your thing going, keep it going. And the way you just described in your 10 minutes, um, literally just told your personal story and you were able to incorporate from my prototype to sitting at a booth at unveiled to where now we're COVID is now hit and we're now thinking about bikes because people want to get out there and travel. So you show your, your progression from when you, when it was just a thought and just said, I'm just going to go to this conference, which was like the largest conference in the world but you just threw yourself out there and then look at where you are today, years, yeah. uh, uh, four years later, and five, four years, five years later, and how you've partnered. And uh, just even in your words that you've said tonight, um, partnering with other people and, and, and working with them because it can't just be all you. And I mean, so that resonates with me personally. And, and I definitely commend you. Um, and this is no knock to any of the other companies, but I mean, it's just the way you uh, told your story it just really, you know, resonates with. No, you know, I was gonna let you guys all know too that, you know, the the thing is that that you have to be authentic, just be real. Uh, you mm -hmm. don't have nothing to lose of being real, and and especially now with COVID, you know, we're all facing. I mean, even us, like the sales, were we're down because you know retail stores, everything kind of, you know, it's a up and down wave, but at the end of the day, I feel like if you're real and if you're yourself and, and you're building your own thing, people are going to support you, you know, no matter yeah. what. And, and those little things I'm telling you, it goes a long way. And one little thing, you know, because I know might be someone waiting is that um, don't be afraid of networking, you know, because CES, mm. believe it or not, yeah, the amount of exhibitors is not the same as every year. Every year you get five, 6,000 exhibitors. This year is probably less than 2,000. And I know why, because it's all digital, but but take advantage, you know, all the startups right now that are doing the show, if you guys are listening, take advantage because you guys have the same platform as the big companies. Yeah. And so you got to take advantage of, you know what, we're all in the same route. How can I figure out a way to make a name of myself in this whole bubble? You know, you don't have sometimes to have the best product in the world, but, but if you have a story and you, and you have a passion of what you believe in, um, just share it. Don't don't be afraid of it. You know how many people told me at the same show that the tall boy was at, and oh, your product sucks, or who's gonna buy that, or or this and that. You know what I said? Hey, that's your opinion. That's great. We keep it going, and believe Ooh. it or not, you know someone will. And hey, look at it now. It's actually at the stores. It's in retail, um, and that's how it is. You just have to keep keep it positive, keep it going, and and things little by little will pan out. So. Um, smallest lot what does that retail for so basically the little guy brand new one 29.99 um it's uh the sport lock then it basically goes up 39.99 travel um then the bigger guy 49.99 mm -hmm. then the travel lock 79.99 and then the door lock you know of course you know now you're talking about home and all that it's a one fifty nine ninety nine. Now the beauty of Benji Lock on its own, and again, I'm not saying that we're we're not gonna use Wi-Fi and all that later on because we're working on stuff like that. Is that right now we're we don't use no app, no phone needed, no Wi-Fi needed, no Bluetooth. Everything is very still traditional. The one you can you can set up. You're your own user. You're the the primary. You set up whoever you want on these products. So you, you said it's up to ten. User. It's up to ten people as well, right? up to 10 people on every product is kind of the same technology um because that was my goal keep it simple because right now yeah i understand the smart home and all that which is great but you know you hear the stories all the time of people hacking hacking your house yeah. Stuff. yeah 
stealing, you know, your data. And I'm, I'm, I'm one of those that I'm very kind of in a personal way that I don't want to feel bad about a customer getting, you know, this loss because they couldn't connect or if they're at the mm -hmm. gym and their phone died out and they couldn't open their lock because the Bluetooth or whatever didn't work. Yeah. That's why I wanted to keep it simple, but you still have your traditional key because believe it or not, I get out of my house right now and every house in this block has a keyhole. Um, I know it's 2021, but the key you're is right. Right. you're right. I, I was going to ask, but I think you may have answered the question. Do you see yourself incorporating Bluetooth technology with some of your future locks? I probably do see it, you know, Bluetooth, uh, app base, uh, Wi-Fi technology, especially now with the whole 5G that, that that's, it's been a big, big talk at CES. Right. Um, but I do see, though, tell you the truth, um, I envision the technology continue what it's doing, but it's also kind of, if you know the CES, how everything is now very EV, very uh, using technology in other ways. I do envision the Benji lock technology going beyond uh, the padlock. So that same hybrid technology of fingerprint and key, just putting some thoughts out there. Imagine it maybe in your car. Imagine it maybe, you know. So there are a lot of cool stuff that I'm already working on because that's the future, you know. Uh, so we'll see how it goes, you know. You know, I'm, I'm appreciative of just the way that you say you were able to pivot, right? Again, with this with this change in dynamic, right? Again, we're not going physically to the gym anymore, right? We're physically not going to school anymore. You know, the, the primary use case is normally for your product, but you know what? You can still get out and ride your bike. So, and you got to lock that bike up when, it, when you park it at the park. Came out with, uh, with the bike lock. That's it's funny because cool. I just purchased my little brother a bike for Christmas and I did not even think about a bike. Lock. I, I, I swear to God, I did not even think about a bike lock and he lives in D.C. So right now, the biggest thing is how do we get the bike from Atlanta to D.C.? But uh, eventually he's going to end up getting it from Atlanta to D.C. But he's going to have to. I don't want him saying, you know, I'm not going to say my my government name, but I could hear him calling me saying, they got my bike. They got my bike. Yeah, and and now that I know, you, I, I'm gonna make sure that uh, he gets a Benji lock to where he's like, I get to put my finger on the thing and and unlock it. So. Hey, you guys have always been family. So uh, after the show, I'm gonna make sure that I send some stuff your way. Whatever is the, the usage that you feel like you're gonna use, I uh, I got you covered because it's always good no to hear, hear your feedback. You know, because we're always improving. So yeah. um, we just gotta keep no. it positive and keep it going. I, I appreciate your support because you don't know. And for the ones that are watching, um, I appreciate everyone that's watching tonight, whether you came in on James's inv invite, it's Eric's invite or my personal invite, or you saw this uh, somewhere and someone tagged you. I thank everyone. But just to Robbie's uh, testimony, you know, I've been creating content for 12, 13 plus years and it's, you know, there's over six, seven hundred videos on my YouTube channel. And sometimes you get discouraged because, you know, people aren't watching the videos, but you still stay consistent and you believe yeah. in that craft. You believe in that dream. <clears throat> and and what ends up happening is you keep proving people wrong. And, you know, so for or not necessarily proving people wrong, you do it for yourself because you believe in yourself and to see Robbie do what he's done and to hear it come from an entrepreneur like himself, you know, that is motivating for me to keep pushing because there's those times where I'm, you know, we all are discouraged and we feel like we can't go uh, anymore. And sometimes that message comes from Robbie and it's like, hey, man, I see you doing your thing. And I may not have even posted in two or three months, but still see something that motivates him. So, man, I, I thank you for this. Um, Sometimes you save the best for last. It's not no knock on any of the other companies, yeah. but uh, I, I, man, I'm so proud to see the development, to see this growth, to see it when it first started, to see where you are today, and see how you've partnered and how you've grown. Man, I, it's a true inspiration, man. Yeah, and you know the, the, that's the 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 beauty is that we keep going. You know, I'm still the same person you met. Uh, I never change uh, because the thing is that that people that that change then they're not real you just have to be yourself be authentic and things will pan out you know i'm telling you this whole journey has just been like this Ooh, ooh. <laughs> 
don't get discouraged. A lot of the times you're like, oh, things are not going the way I want it or, you know, what am I going to do? But at the end of the day, it's like, you know what? Take a deep breath. It's not your day. Take a couple of days off. Right. Disconnect. Sometimes we need to disconnect from, from your craft or whatever your 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 right. ambition. And right. then if that passion comes back again, you you know what? I like it. Let's keep going. And and that's how it is. I, I tell you right now, and I don't mind, you know, if it gets recorded and all that, the day that I actually feel that, that I woke up and I say, you know what, I I gave it all, but I'm I'm done with Benji Lock, then that's it. Like I'm 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 done. But as long as I'm passionate, uh you better watch out. Nice. I, love yeah, I love it. All right, man. That's Robbie Cabral. Um, where can they find the product uh, website real quick? Hey, through you guys, you know, and also uh, uh, BenjiLock.com and ByHampton.com. And I'm going to send some cool stuff your way. All right. And then if someone wants to reach out to you personally, uh, what's your email address? My email there, rcabral at BenjiLock.com. You know, uh, it might take me a couple of days sometimes to respond, <laughs> but uh, man is always on the move. Yeah, uh, can, yeah. can, can you spell that for me? Because uh, I definitely want to give a shout out to Mr. Jay Walker. He's been in this room watching, taking notes. Uh, we're going to pull some of this audio. We're going to try and um, do some write ups. So I just want, you know, I definitely want to thank my man Jay for staying on for this two hour, two and a half hour show yeah. <laughs> and uh, watching and taking notes for every company. So if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Um, um, we got to to Mr. J then. Uh, uh, what's your email address? One one more time. Oh, it's uh, R as in Robbie, and then O B B I E. No, 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 no. What's your? Oh, there it is. There, there it is on the oh, screen. Wait. R Cabral. At oh, Benji yeah, that's the one. That's the one. There you go. There you go. So, so thank you, Jay. I truly appreciate it. He did not want to come in the room. He said, "I'm just gonna watch." And uh, man, dude, you're the truth. And if I never told you that his birthday is on the same day as mine, so I can't, you know, talk stuff. Yeah, because yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's a true cancer like me, and he's gonna, you know, he's gonna say something smart back. So I, I'm just gonna <laughs> leave it at that. So, I believe Robbie, you thank you so said. much, man. Because hey, likewise, guys. Robbie touched us more than he may have thought, right? I mean, the, 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 the story that you gave us, we, we, we did, I knew of the outside of it, right? But it, again, the, the struggle. The, the need to stay within your focus, to stay passionate. Uh, again, that you you had one finger pointing out, but three fingers pointing back at, at you know at, at us as well. I mean, and, and so that you really resonated with that, man. So appreciate that. That's gonna light the fire to keep us moving as well, because as we do our entrepreneurship type of activities as well. So, hey, I'm glad. I'm glad. Anything I can do, I'll make sure to promote promote the lab, and and you know we gotta keep it going. It's the only way. So yeah, hope you guys have a great CES. I think we have one more day tomorrow, right? So <laughs> want to see if I can do a 4 a.m. Because I'm like, man, I don't know if I can do a 4 a.m. tomorrow from my time. But, but we oh, keep we it going. I'm at Connections, uh, the Connection Summit starting at 8. So I, oh. I get four hours extra to sleep, you know, besides that 4 a.m. wake up call. Gotcha. All hey. right, Robbie. Thank you so much, man. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Right. Good night. Bye. All right, man. So what would you think? CES, the lab, season two, the intro. <laughs> just to go back on his story, though, I kid you not, I just put, I don't know if you saw my Instagram post. I said today, I said a lot of times when people give you a negative comment, it's because they're telling you their limitations, not your limitations. Mm. Yeah, I posted that today. That was wow. a great story. Hey. That was a great story. So what you think? Was there anything that really stood out or are you going to say all of them stood out? What was your one key takeaway, Eric? My, Outside my of Robbie's one, story, uh, I, my one key takeaway, I, I, I just like how they were, like James said at the beginning, they're they're focused on, um, you, you know, relevant situations as today. You know, I, I think they're looking at um, health. Um, I, I think they're looking at um, honestly, the one that really stood out for me today was the was that air that air purifier one. That air purifier one was was pretty cool. You know, and, and the iPad one, of course. But um, the <laughs> the air purifier one was amazing because. Um, I don't know if I've said anything, but they, they um, we went and got tested. I don't have any symptoms or anything like that, but <clears throat> as I'm clearing my throat, um, but you know, they, they said we, you know, that uh, we tested positive for COVID. Um, everybody's fine. You know, everything is, 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 uh, is okay here. But um, that, like I said, that air purifier thing really kind of resonated with me. All right. James. Ditto. Right. I mean, again, and our, 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 
mantra, right, for the lab, for infotainment news has always been timely, relevant news of the day. And for the lab is always to be unbiased product reviews of products and services that we actually use and that we actually recommend, right? We're, we're not going to sugarcoat anything. We're going to tell it to you like it is. And if we don't like it, we don't like it. If we like it, we do like it. And it, it really was a different CES this year. And I think it was, was eye-opening. I think it was more serious because of the state of the world, right? So again, it, it wasn't a whole bunch of Concept. phone cases and, and yeah, phone cases, and, yeah, exactly. and things that can't be used. It was actually personal hygiene. It was actually safety. It was actually staying in touch. It was it was well-being uh, types of uh, pieces and, and, and offerings. What really resonated with me, yeah, all of them, obviously, but I think I would probably day one get most benefit and most usage out of the, that huddle, right? That iPad uh, case that had all those ports. Because again, as content creators as we are, mm -hmm. the more the the more efficient tools that we have in our toolbox, the, the better I think we are to be able to deliver our message and deliver our craft. So something like that is going to be incredibly useful to me because we are going to get able to get back out on the streets. Uh, we are going to be able to have. Eric on those red carpets doing doing his thing. Tall boy is going to be out there again doing the tall boy experience live and in person. You know, so, so we are going to get to get back to those things. And the more efficient we are with, with the products and the tools that we have in our in our toolkit, I think again the better it will be. So so that number one, uh, I would tell Robbie, look again. I went to Walmart a couple of months ago looking for his product. They didn't have it. They had sold out of it, obviously because it's the best thing out there. So right. I picked up a. I won't say the name brand, but something uh, inferior. It did not work <laughs> like I needed to. It. I actually had to have the gym folk come and, and cut it off because it didn't work. Uh, so quality uh, in terms of products matter, and everything that that Robin and Binge Life has put out has been superior, A plus, two thumbs up, whatever. All those accolades. Uh, it was good stuff. It, it, it was good stuff overall, and, and I think again, um, I'm glad we were able to pull. Um, a pretty diverse list of, of, of products. Very diverse. Right. I mean, I mean, again, look, we, we went from a Rubik's Cube uh -huh. for 2021 to air purifying to solar panels to, to, to all kind of good stuff. So uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really happy with this show. And I hope uh, the folks that have stayed and watched are also uh, appreciative of the content that we put out today. What about you, Double? Um, for me, I think uh, the diverse group. Um, of people that we had, I think people were expecting TVs and car tech and rollable phones and stuff like that. But to me, as I was looking at each, as I was looking at each product, I was trying to think of everyone um, there from toys to educational to uh, elderly, um, you know, guy stuff. I was looking for all of that. And I think uh, these companies this year was very intentional. Um, the price points can kind of scare you, but when you made the comment earlier, um, it made sense what you said. Yeah. You know, it's like, no what would you pay for it? If you're willing to pay $1,000 for a phone, you should be willing to pay $1,000 for an air purifier. You know, that's clean air. Mm -hmm. What's more important? I think our mind is conditioned yeah. um, to think it's okay to buy the phone, but it's not okay to buy the air purifier. So, um, I think these companies came in. I think that they really want people to purchase or look at their brands respectfully. We already know who the major players are, the, the major companies, but there are some new companies that are startups or that are just not known and having them come onto the lab, whether you wa were watching it live or you come back and watch the replay at a later time and date, you'll know that hey, there's some cool companies out here that actually exist and it fits my needs, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, the I'm tied between the portable, I mean, excuse me, yeah, the portable solid state drive um, because, you know, I'm a tech guy, I'm always editing and because some of my hard drives went out earlier um, last year, um, I was frustrated with the, um, I was frustrated with the data recovery storage. So you're actually trusting a company, a company's brand 
to put your sensitive information on their stuff. And if you lose that content, you're screwed. Yes. And I mean, you're talking about a mortgage payment, a thousand dollars just to be able to pull that data. Yeah. Who wants to make that, that call? And I think, um, the portable storage from Trova, uh, with Scott at the end, um, I think that that's great because you can use that whether it's home or on the go to where it's inconspicuous. So between right. those two products, I mean, they're neck and neck with each other. So that, that, that's how I would have to leave. So, um, thank you everyone for watching the show. Uh, I will continue to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, so you can listen to me now or you can believe me later on. <laughs> Shout out to Fujo Goody. Uh, but this is what we do. It's called tech and, uh, it's called the lab. Y'all be good to yourself. Stay healthy. Me out.